All right, well, it's a great day. We are here today, ready to go at the two-day business acceleration. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you're in for a treat today. We have a couple of, not presentations, but we have a couple of training sessions. I like to look at them today. These are training sessions. And today is a money training day. When I say a money training day, you know, you're gonna learn some ideas, you're going to take some tools. You're going to learn the insider secrets that you're going to be able to use immediately, instantly in your business. And here's the good news. You'll be able to make money from the ideas you learn today on your very next presentation, on your very next discussion. You'll be able to use these ideas immediately, and they're going to put money in your pocket. And let me just first go ahead and just acknowledge you for the champion that you are, uh, for being here, for showing up. You know, part of life is just showing up. And you showed up, you took some action, you registered, you hit the button, and you are attending. So hello to all of you out there. Now, today coming up, let me just give you a sneak preview of coming attractions. I'm going to start off today and share some ideas right from the Closing Mastery Playbook. And I haven't given this presentation live in over a year. Now, some of you may have seen a small version of it on the webinar series, but I'm gonna tell you, for 99.9999%, that means you, of course, you've never seen this. Why? Because I haven't done it. And so I'm gonna do this uh, first time in over a year. And I promise you, get your paper, get your pen. I'm gonna give you some instructions in, in a little while exactly what to do. But be ready, be tuned in, pay close attention, take really good notes, in fact, take this message and share it with someone else. Like, you have my permission today. I mean, you have my permission to share this with someone else so they too can enjoy the benefits of improving their business. And think about that. You generate more leads, you set more appointments, you close more business, you're a happier person, you make more money, you have a joyous life. Like, you go out and there's this added joy immediately to your life. That's really cool. So, I promise you, this is gonna be a good use of your time. The second uh, training session we have coming up today will be Trevor Ox. Now, this will be one of those presentations you've never ever seen before. I promise you, why? Because it's not broadcasted this way. I haven't seen it myself in over a year. Only does it like once a year. And he'll be talking about neural linguistic presentations. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. He'll explain it to you. What it does mean is that you'll be able to take your presentation, you'll be able to take the words you're using and you'll be able to immediately impact everyone that you come in contact with. And think about this, all roads lead to a sales presentation. If you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, then all roads, everything you do, all the activities you do every single day, they all lead to one place and that is a presentation where you're in front of someone sharing with them how you help them solve a problem. And think about this for a moment. Just imagine that you're more powerful, you're more persuasive, I mean, you have more influence, and you're able to move people to action. You don't have to convince them. That's not what you have to do. But you clearly outline, say, you know what? If you have a problem, you have problem A, problem B, problem C, and you offer a solution. Now, it fits their budget. That's pretty cool. Um, something they could use, that means they could take the idea and use it, and you solve their problem, and you close more business. I used to say close more sales. I love the word close more sales. I'm going to come back to close more sales. But today, I'm going to give you just a broad term. I'm going to say close more business. So for those out there of you who have a resistance to selling, I'll use the word close more business, although you are in sales, by the way. I mean, I want you to know that. I mean, I'm going to get started in a moment, but I want you to know that. But some of you listening right now, you have a high resistance to selling. And why is that? Well, Selling really has got a, really a negative connotation in our world. It, it really has um, for many, many, many years. So it's not just like it's just our generation that, that doesn't really appreciate sales folks. It's generations before. And why is that? Well, when you think of a sales professional, what do you think of? Like really, like, like seriously, like what do you really think of when you think of a sales professional? Um, maybe you think of a liar. Maybe think of a fast talker. Sometimes in my seminars, some folks will out um, a used car salesman with white shoes on and a hat. I mean, someone that will say anything. 
in one of my seminars, someone asked the question, said, Jay, how do you know when a salesperson is lying? I said, well, gee whiz, I, I really don't know. They said, their lips are moving. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is going to be a very, very long training session. But the reality is, you out there just listening right now, you're watching right now, you don't sell that way. You're not a sneaky, conniving type of individual. Um, you're not trying to force people to buy something they don't need. That's not you. You sell from a whole different perspective. And here's what I want you to know. If you have a resistance to selling, jot this down in your notes. Jot this down. I mean, I'm going to get some, to some good stuff in a moment. I know you see Closing Mastery Playbook and you can't wait. I'm going to get to some good stuff in a moment. But just, just jot this down in your notes. This is very, very important. And this is going to help you. You ready? I'm ready too. Here it is. Get over it. Just jot that down in your notes. Get over it. If you're in business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a leader, if you're a coach, if you're a speaker, if you're a network marketer, you're in the selling business, right? Because in these United States of America, you can still help someone and what? Get paid. And it's okay. Now, you might call it relationship building. You might call it telling. You might call it showing. But at the end of the day, when you boil it all down, get past all that, it's really what? It's really selling. Now, here's a definition of selling. Go ahead and jot this down in your notes. I learned this from my mentor, and it's, it's really going to help because if you have a resistance to selling, and, and why should you pay attention? Like, Shay, why should I listen to you right now? I want to get to some, some good closing tips. Well, if you have resistance to selling, this is the number one reason why you should listen to me. Like, the number one reason. And here it is. Let's say it's you and I, and... You have resistance to selling, and I don't. And let's say we're running a 50-yard dash, right? So we got this 50-yard dash we're running. By you having a resistance to selling, you have to jump over hurdles because you always have this resistance. So as you're talking to the client, what's happening? You got a resistance, so there's a barrier. Then you have another resistance, there's a barrier. And all this stuff is going on in your mind. Not me, if I'm on the other side, and I'm running a 50-yard dash, and I have no resistance to selling. At least I have a mindset that my job is to help someone, then it's just like, Easy selling, just easy selling. So that's one of the reasons I don't want you to have just a resistance. And I'm going to give you a definition to help you so you don't have to jump over hurdles and work just as hard. I mean, think about how hard it is. You go into a presentation, you're like, God, I really don't want to sell them anything. I really have this fear. They're going to think that I'm trying to convince them to do something. I'm not. I'm just here. In fact, you know the worst thing you can say when you first get started? I'm not here to sell you anything. I mean, that's like the worst script you could possibly use. Why is that? Because at the end of the presentation, you get to the point, you say, well, I'd like to know if you would like to do this. It's like, it's just incongruent. So let me give you this definition because um, this could help you. This could help you. And here it is. Before I do that, just jot this in your notes. I'm, I said I'm going to give you some money ideas, right? We, we got some time. Huh? So jot this in your notes. Selling is a learned skill. You can learn to sell. Just jot the day you know. Selling is a learned skill. You can learn to sell. So let me give you the definition of selling. Like jot this thing you know. Like I got a, I got a, I actually got a board up here today. Little difference for me as well. And you might not see what I'm writing, but but I want you to put this down in your notes, right? Selling equals service. Jot that down, you know, this is the definition of selling. I'm going to underline it. I even have multiple colors up here today. Multiple colors. Selling, that's selling, equals what? Service. They're going to zoom in and you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. So selling equals service. Now, this is the definition of selling. This is what I want you to tell yourself seven times a day for the next 10 days. So here's your first assignment. We got some good stuff we're going to show you, but... Here's just your first assignment, just to get started, just to shift that mindset a little bit, just to move you so you don't have to jump over these hurdles. I mean, how, I mean can you imagine jumping over hurdles? I mean, God, every single day. Selling equals what? Service. Say something that seven times a day. Selling equals service. When you sell, you're going to sell from a place of honesty. You're going to sell from a place of integrity. And you're going to sell from a place of service. So selling equals service. When you sell, you will sell in a place of honesty, a place of integrity, and a place of service. And think about what that would mean in your business right now. If you just had that mindset, if you didn't take anything else away from today's 
training session. It's not a presentation. I'm not presenting to you today. I mean, who's, who's, that's so boring. No, you're getting a training session on ideas that's going to help you. And just, just one concept around sound. This could be the number one idea that I'm going to share during my entire training session today. Just the number one idea. And why are you getting it right now? Because you showed up. You showed up on time. You were right here. Some of you were waiting. You couldn't wait. You were texting and saying, when does it start? I want to be there. I'm here. You're in the front of the classroom. That's what the superstars do. They show up. They show up on time. So you're here. So let me give you something a little bit advanced that you can use to help the mindset around selling. And this is important. Selling really equals three things. Selling is about three things. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna find my handy dandy eraser here. It is here, and I'm gonna tell you the three things that selling is really all about. And then we'll get into today's presentation. But first, we have the definition. Selling equals what? Selling equals what? Service. That's right. Selling equals service. Then I'm gonna give you three, just three steps of selling. You get these three steps, you could tune me out the rest of the day. You could tune me out the next couple of hours. You could, you could actually roll over. Some of you, it's, it's like, I don't know what time it is here. Some of you, it's three hours behind. Some, you can roll back and go on to sleep. Some of you are listening to me right now while I'm playing through your ears or your earphones. And others of you right now, you have the computer up, and you're, you're kind of watching, kind of say, hey, what's going on? And those of you, you're listening to the audio while you're cruising down the road. So you can't write this down, but you can listen. And you can pay really close attention. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a green marker this time. You can't see the green marker, just to have a little fun. So selling really is about three things. You get these three things, it will create a breakthrough in your business. OK, let's, let's jot these three things down. Let's, let's go on this journey. It's all about business acceleration, right? How do you accelerate your business from where you are now to where you want to get to? That's what this is all about. One key component of it is going to be sales. Number one, you ready? You ready? Say, I'm ready. OK, you ready. I can hear you. At least I heard you in your mind. OK, number one, selling equals education. So the first thing we have to do in the sales process is we have to educate the prospect on the problems that exist in the world, or in their case, the problems in the industry. We have to clearly show that we have an understanding, a depth of knowledge, a distinction. Now, what is a distinction? A distinction is an understanding beyond common knowledge. So there's a common knowledge you have, like you know sales is important. But today, you learn some distinctions, and you can go beyond that. So selling is about education. So if you have a resistance to selling right now, you're like, Shay, I still have this resistance. In fact, I can't make these stories up. I had a session yesterday with someone. We're on the phone, and they said they have a fear of sales. Now, they're a business owner. And they, they were being very honest. They're a business owner. I admire their honesty. They're a business owner. They're out, they're out solving problems. They're out generating revenue. And they've been in business not one year, not two years, but several years, and they're full time, like full time all the time. And they said, you know, let me tell you something. And I asked the question, and they said, I'll tell you what it is, Shay. I have a fear of sales. Think about that for a moment. Entrepreneur with a fear of sales. One way they can overcome that fear, and they're not alone. Some of you out there are just like them. I was just like that as well. I'm like, geez, I don't want to be seen as a sleazy salesperson. Not me. So I had to come to grips with idea number one, that selling is really about education. And how can I educate the person that I'm talking to that I understand the challenges in their industry, understand the problems they have in their business, understand what they're looking to improve in to be more efficient or more effective. So when they do make an investment, there's a return on their investment. That's, by the way, let's call it ROI. Nothing new, nothing new, but think about that, ROI. Well, what's the first way you can do it? The first way you can do it is understand that selling really is about education. And that's the first step. When you go on a sales presentation, we'll, we'll give you a process. There's a lot of processes out there. I'm gonna share one with you that's probably between myself, my mentor, and all the companies we talk to, probably put over a billion dollars of revenue in their pocket. Step number one is you've got to be able to educate them. Step number two, do you know what step number two is? You've been to any of my seminars? You watched any of our webinars? Or you just been hanging around and just eavesdropping, if you will, just being a fly on the wall? Like some of you right now, you're just flies on the walls and you're listening in and say, whoa, Shay, where are you going with this? 
show you right now. Number two, look at this. We have colors. And, and, it's, and it's always cool. Like, we're always getting better. Someone says, hey, Shay, you know, how is it that every time I talk to you guys, you're always getting better? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because now we're using colors. Like, you see me giving a presentation. You see me peak performance giving a presentation. And we've never really used a whiteboard with colors in it. And they're actually working. How cool is that? So, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Some of you showed up didn't know where we were going to be. You're like, okay, I'm going to, they're going to be broadcasting. This is a two-day business acceleration. What can they talk about? Well, breakthrough ideas. Okay, let's get back to what we're talking about. Okay, selling equal service. You're saying it to yourself. Selling equal service, selling equal service, selling equal service. And you all can sell. You all can give service. So number one, selling is about education. Number two, jot this down in your notes. Selling is about leading. I made a very important point earlier. It was a key distinction, and you may have missed it. Maybe you tuned out. Maybe you're just signing on. Maybe you missed it. But it's so, so important, as I mentioned this. Jot this down in your notes. All roads in business lead to a sales presentation. Now, normally, that's, I normally reserve that just for my paying clients. And all of you listening right now, you're, you're our paying clients. So welcome to a new distinction that you haven't heard yet. How cool is that? See? You're on the other side now. Welcome to the other side. All roads in business lead to what? A sales presentation. At the end of the day, you've got to get to a presentation. So Trevor's going to be talking about today neuro-linguistic presentations. I'm going to be talking about today how you can be more effective in your presentation, how you can be more powerful in your presentation, and how you can be more persuasive because all roads lead to a presentation. Sales presentation, that's the most important part. It leads to a sales presentation. Think about it. Everything you do all day long. We had, we had a coaching call just yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't make these things up. And one of the things that was mentioned is, you know what, at some point you've got to give more presentations. What else is there to do? The question came up, by the way. The question came up and said, what's the number one activity you should be doing? And the person was fumbling and talking about I don't know what they were talking about. And I snapped immediately. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Think about it. What's the number one activity you should be doing every day? What's the best use of your time? If, I was, if you, were, you were here today, and I'm not going to pull you guys up. If I was to pull you up and say, come on up, come on up. You just come on up. And, and you would stand up here with me. And I would look over at you and say, what is your number one activity you do every day? What's the best use of your time every day? As a business owner, as an entrepreneur. And we're only talking to business owners and entrepreneurs. If you're a leader, that's cool. You listen in. But I'm talking about business owners. And what would you say? The person we were talking to, I mean, it wasn't a quiz. It wasn't a test. They were, like, all over the map. They really were. And I was like, you know, this person isn't getting it. And I had to, like, just jump in right away. I couldn't take it any longer. Just like right now, you're like, Shay, just tell me what it is. Just tell me what it is. Come on, Shay. Tell me what it is, please. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's time in front of a customer. Time in front of clients. Time in front of prospects. The best use of your time, the, be the highest and best use of your time is time in front of clients. Now, it could be prospects. For some of you, it's getting in front of prospects. I get that. For others, it's getting in front of your existing clients because you've got to talk to them. You've got to communicate with them. Other than that, what else is it to do all day? Like, literally, seriously. You know, I get it. You've got to service people. I'm going to get to this. Not a big deal. I get that. But I want you to be thinking about it. When you come after this training session today, and I want you to be thinking, I'm planting this subconscious thought right now on your brain. I'm planting the sales success software. That's what I'm doing. This is sales success software. I'm planting it on your subconscious brain. And you be sitting around saying, okay, what's the best use of my time? Time in front of prospects. Time in front of clients. Now, it could be face-to-face. -face. Get that. It could be through the power of video, like right now. I get that as well. It could be through the power of them watching a video on your website. It could be them reading one of your emails. It could be them at your landing page or seeing your sales letter or your page about what you do. That's still time in front of prospects or time in front of clients. Best use of your time. Now, after that, it doesn't really matter. Maybe you got to service them. Maybe you have to prospect. Maybe you got to set appointments. There's a whole list of things that go on there. But what's the best use of your time? If I see you at a future seminar, and uh, you're one of my paying clients. I only reserve this, by the way, for our paying clients. So you're, you're very fortunate to be, be on the other side right now listening. It's time in front of 
prospects or time in front of clients because all roads, Shay, all roads, all activities in business, all of them, they lead to one place, and that is a sales presentation. I'm going to teach you how to give a great sales presentation in a little while. Right now, I just want to give you some ideas, something you can use right now, something that it doesn't take any software. You don't need any. It doesn't take anything fancy. You, know, you don't even have to write it down. You've got to just hear it and believe it, and it's going to move you forward. So selling equals service, we understand that. All roads in the sales present, all roads in business leads to a sales presentation. There's nowhere else for it to lead to but to a sales presentation. And now I'm giving you three steps that you need to know about sales. So number one, selling equals education. You got that. You can educate people. Get really good in your industry. Know what the challenges are. Know what the issues are. Know what folks are seeking to solve. Here's a good, good quote, put this in your notes. Just another note, but here it is. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. You're in the problem solving business. So you've gotta be able to educate folks, let them know you understand their problem. This is not complicated, it's not difficult. You all can do this. Number two, selling is about leading. So now we've gotta lead the prospect in the direction that we want them to go, right? So you want a presentation, unless you're there for customer service. If you're in customer service, hey, we appreciate you. We need you. You do really good work. You help keep people happy and satisfied. But if you're on a sales presentation, that's who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to the entrepreneurs, talking to the business owners, talking to the leaders who are selling a product, they're selling a service, they're selling an idea. Some of you, you have to make the biggest sale every single morning. You know what the number one sale you got to make every day? A sale to yourself. That's it. You got to sell yourself that you have what it takes. That you can t move forward and stay focused and get things done. You've got to believe first. Okay, so selling is about education. Selling is about leading. Look at that, red, blue, and green. Let's see if they got another color up here. Well, that would be a little too complicated, wouldn't it? We got three colors, so I'm gonna go with black. And what's number three? Think about it. First you educate them, then you lead them. There you go. And number three, this is important. Selling is about moving people to what? To what, Shay? Action. For some, this is the biggest challenge. They say, Shay, they like me. Shay, they trust me. Shay, they get it. Shay, they understand. But you know what they have to do? They have to move the prospect move the client to action. So selling, when you, when you sum it all up, think about it. First, you don't have any resistance. You're running a race, you want to cruise. You don't want to jump over hurdles because every time you have this resistance, you're always just mentally having a hard time as you're moving forward. So selling equals service. When you sell, you're going to sell from a place of honesty, integrity, and what? Compassion. You're going to sell from a place of honesty, integrity and compassion. That's what selling is really all about. That's, what it, that's the core of what it's about. This is going to help you. And then here's a three-step formula that sums it all up. Nothing complicated about this. Selling is about education. We first educate them. Selling is about leading. We've got to lead them in the direction we want them to go. We'll share some tips on that. And third, selling is about moving people to action. And then once they move to action, you've, you've helped them. Um, they're happy, um, you're happy, you close more business, you have a smile on your face, you generate extra income in your personal life that allows you to build your retirement, maybe um, increase your cash reserves, take your family on vacations. At the end of the day, you have more joy and peace in your life. Now, I never say that. I mean, I always say that. I reserve that for these type of events. But you're gonna have, this is a huge benefit. This is the number one reason why I do what I do. Have more joy and have more peace. Yes, we're doing a lot in the world, and, and I'm really, really pleased for what Peak Performance Institute is doing. I'm, I'm really, really pleased on, on all the efforts we're doing. And we have a mission to help 10 million professionals out there really improve the quality of their life over the next 10 years. And we're gonna need your help. We'll talk about that later, we'll talk about that later. Okay, let's move on and get back to our, our presentation. Some of you that arrived early, congratulations. Consider it a bonus session. Hey, Shay, yes, you received a 
That's what the VIP bonus session is about. That's what you do. If you arrive late, don't worry. We've got a wonderful presentation on closing mastery playbook. So let's talk a little bit about that today. And as I always like to start off, I said it earlier, what? It's a great day. <laughs> and we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to get going on closing mastery playbook. What are the things you need to do in your sales presentation, in your sales process, just to help more people? Even if you didn't make more money, even if you don't like what you do, you're doing it anyway. So you might as well have fun while you're doing it. You might as well have fun. So let me share this with you. The faintest writing is stronger than the strongest memory. Jot that down in your notes. The faintest writing is stronger than the strongest memory. So here's what I would like for you to do. I'm going to suggest that you take notes, OK? And you want you to write this down in your notes. And I want you to read your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. Now, this is my assignment, because you've written it down. Now, just by writing it down, it's there, OK? It's there. You will always have it. So 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks, I want you to read your notes. OK, Jay, why read my notes for 15 minutes a day? I'm glad you asked. I really am. Maybe you've had this experience, right? Maybe you've been watching a, a movie for the second or third time. You got a different level of understanding. Maybe you've read a book for the second or third or fourth time. Or maybe, you're like myself, maybe you were in your car and you were riding down the road and a song came on and you started singing the words of the song on the radio. And think about it. When did you ever decide you were going to learn the words of the song? You never did. And that's what's going to happen today. That's what's going to happen today. You're going to write down some ideas. You're going to be in this conversation. The number one distinction that we teach is you stay in the conversation. You're in the conversation around sales and success. These ideas, they're top of mind to you. You're more likely to do it. So you write it down. You read your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. So for the next two weeks, I'm only asking you to do this for two weeks. That's it. That's just two weeks. You read your notes 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. You get a different level of understanding. You get a different distinction. You see something later. Let me tell you something. I was at a fusion con last year. I mean, almost last year to this date, maybe about two weeks ago last year. And my notes are still in Evernote. And I went back and I looked at the notes. I mean, I went back and read them. Now, I didn't do it consistently over the last year, but I went back and read them. I said, whoa, life cycle marketing. Whoa, attract and capture leads. It hasn't changed. And the idea was there. Think about it. I, I forgot about it, but it was in writing. So for the next two weeks, for 15 minutes a day, I want you to read your notes. So those out there that are, are listening right and you're watching, go ahead and type that right now. Just, just go ahead and, and type it right into the private group or type it right into the chat and say, Read my notes for 15 minutes. That's all you got to do. Just matter of fact, make it short. 15 minutes, read my notes. Just 15 minutes, read my notes. That's all I'm going to ask. That's your only homework assignment is to read your notes. Now, I want you to take really good notes. Um, and I hope you're taking notes already because sales superstars, they're always writing down great ideas because none of us, none of us have a perfect memory. And I know I take notes. I'm going to encourage you to do it. But more importantly, forget just taking notes. That's going to help you. Just the fact that you wrote it down and you saw it, it's going to reinforce it. But think about if you go back and take that next step. Now, this is for the superstars. These are for the champions. These are for the champions. And you are a sales champion right now. I mean, even if you don't believe it, just by you being in this conversation right now, you're a champion. You read your notes, and it makes a huge, huge difference for you. Let me share this with you if I can. Behold the turtle. He makes progress only when he sticks his head out. Now. <laughs> You heard me say that consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do most people struggle with? They struggle with consistency. So I'm going to encourage you right now to be consistent as you make progress. One of the reasons why over the last 15 years, but I'll say specifically the last four months as well, that we've seen the success that we've seen, even with all the challenges, personal challenges, business challenges, is that we're consistently taking action. We get up every single day. We play a level seven high, a seven or higher every single day. We take the right actions when we don't feel like it. We are consistent in it. We find a structure and system and plug into it, and it works. That's why the turtle always makes progress. Now, if you're a person right now and you're like, Shay, I'm not seeing the progress that I want. I'm not getting the results that I want. But I want you to jot this down in your notes. Just, just put this down in your notes. 
Results take as long as results take. Just put that in your notes, please. Results take as long as results take. And sometimes you get paid today, and sometimes you get paid tomorrow, but when you take the right actions, you always, you're going to always, always get the right results. So I'm going to encourage you today. I'm going to encourage you today. I'm really going to encourage you today just to be a person of action. Matter of fact, jot that down in your notes. That might be the note you come back and read. I am consistent. Put that in your notes. I am consistent. Now, if you're watching right now and you're in the private, elusive, exclusive group, or you're in the feed right now, just type down, I am consistent. That's all you got to do. Just put down, I am consistent. That's going to be a note just between you and I. I'll go back and read it. And um, I believe right now that you are consistent. And it might be this little small voice saying, no, you're not. No, you're not. You always say you are. You've said this a long time and you never do it. No, no, no. I want you to know that I believe you. That I believe right now that you are a person of action and that you are consistent. And even if you don't hold that belief right now, even if you don't believe it in yourself right now, you're like, Shay, I do, but I don't, but you don't understand my situation. Here's what we're going to do. Shay Brown is going to hold that belief for you. Like, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to believe in you before you believe in yourself. And sometimes we need others to believe in us. Remember back in 2005 um, when I was making a transition from Coach Shay, if you would, to focusing on being just a sales superstar. And my goal was to be the number one sales trainer in the world. That was it. Minimum top five, right? The minimum top five. That was, that was my goal. And I didn't really believe it. 2006, Mount Rockland, California. They're at a very, very small event, very intimate, private event. And Eric told me, he said, Jay, I'm going to hold the belief for you. I'm like, huh? What are you talking about? No, I'm going to hold the belief for you. You're going to be one of the top five sales trainers of your generation. He said, because I'll be one of the other four. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I mean, really, your mentor's telling you, I would be in the top five with this guy? But he held the belief for me. And today, eight years later, I believe I'm one of the top sales trainers of my generation. And there'll come a time, there'll come a time. I'll be number one, number two, number three. Doesn't matter. That's just a personal goal I had. Doesn't make me any better than anyone else. And no, it doesn't. But what it means is, it's what I believe. And I want you to believe right now that you can do whatever you want to do. And maybe you believe this, that you have the potential inside of you to perform at a higher level than whatever level you're performing at right now. And if you hold that belief, if you hold that belief, then I promise you, today is going to be a good use of your time. You're going to be glad that you showed up. You're going to be glad you took that step. I mean, this right here is a game changer in your business because this is a training session, not a presentation. It's a training session. You walk away with this content, and it makes a huge, huge difference for you. And I'm really, really excited. So today, one of my favorite quotes that you can see right there on the screen. Just look over there. You can see it right there, right? This is where amazing happens, like the NBA. The NBA is going on right now, and we're going to see some amazing things happen. We just saw something amazing happen just in the NCAA tournament. Even if you don't like basketball, like, you're like, Shay, I'm not even into sports. Not for me. You can still walk away with this distinction. There was a team, University of Connecticut, and a year ago they were sanctioned. We're not able to participate and compete in the NCAA tournament, which even if you're not about basketball, just know it's that top tier. It's when you go to school and you're a ball player, your whole mindset is, I've got to get to the NCAA, NCAA tournament and I have to win it. The top coach leaves the school. They're sanctioned, they're disgraced, they're hanging their heads, and another young coach steps up. Takes over the team. And one year later, which was just, just recently, they win a championship. Now we're about to watch the NBA playoffs. And some amazing things are happening. We don't know what's going to happen. That's why, you know, we as, as Americans, and even if, no matter what country you're in right now, there's folks from all over the world watching, so I don't want to just make it an American thing. But I happen to be here in, the, in these United States of America, and I'm proud to be an American. I'm, I'm really, really proud where those colors are red, white, and blue. And I'm sure you are as well. I'm sure you are as well. So in sports... As Americans, all of us, um, you know, we cheer for teams because we never know what's going to happen. We just don't know, right? We, we really don't know. And so NBA is where amazing things happen. We're going to be cheering for the underdog. And I'm cheering for you right now, and maybe you're cheering for me. And, and so together we're going to take that step, take that step. But today, amazing things are going to happen, I promise you. 
You're going to hear some things that maybe you've never heard before. If it's a reinforcement for some things, you're like, you know what? That's exactly what I need. And this is going to be the rocket fuel that some of you need. This is going to be the rocket fuel you need right now. Let's go blast off. And I can't wait. I'm really, really excited just to be part of this journey. Amazing things are going to happen today, and it's going to be just incredible. Jot this down in your notes. It comes from Keith Harrell. Some of you know Keith Harrell up here. Some of you can Google him. Great guy. He wrote one of the top books of all time about 10, 15 years ago. It's called Attitude is Everything. Jot that down in your notes. Attitude is Everything. So today, while you're here, I want you to be tuned in, and I want you to have the attitude that my life is going to change. You might not have showed up today when you cut the computer on, when you arrived in the building, when you sat down in your seats. Maybe you didn't have that thought, but I want you to know that today is going to change your life today. It's going to change your business. That's the attitude I want you to have. That's the mindset that I want you to have. Now, you don't have to jump up and down and be clapping, yay! You ain't got to do all that. You can just sit back. But you have that mindset, you hold that belief and say, whoa. Why? Because attitude is everything. And I want you to have the attitude that if I take one idea, Shay, just one idea, it could change my life. How many ideas do you need right now? Really, like seriously, like honestly, like, how many ideas do you need to change your life? Listen, how many? One. One good idea implemented. Jot this down in your notes. One of my favorite sayings. Just one. I'm going to do this. I'm going to race this board here. Do, 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 do. Look at that. They have a nice board. It goes all the way across. Isn't this cool? Classroom learning. OK. I'm going to put the number one. I want you to jot this down in your notes, by the way. One. That's a circle. One. And then we're going to put idea. I, D, E, A. OK. Listen very closely. I want you to listen with new ears. I want you to watch, you can watch this up here, with new eyes, and jot just one distinction down in your notes. And for some of you, this is a great trainer, trainer content, because this is where amazing happens. Right now is where amazing happens. And here it is. Are we live in the private, loose, exclusive Facebook group? I don't know if we are or not. Oh, we are? Okay. One idea implemented, is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. Just jot that down in your notes. One idea. Now, in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group, if you're watching right now and you happen to be part of it, if you're not, don't worry about it. Hit over to Virtual Networking Live and you can join. Just Virtual Networking Live. But in there, jot this down. This is something for you and something for everyone watching. Just put one and then just put idea. Don't even put the rest. Well, you can put the rest if you want to. But one idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. Just put that in there. Go out there to the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group right now. Just put one idea implemented. It's better than a thousand ideas you know right now. Just put that right now in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. And you're going to get that idea today. You're going to get exactly what you need today. I mean, today is going to just be amazing. It's going to be incredible. I mean, we're going to have a whole lot of fun. And you showed up. And that's the good news. The good news is, you showed up today. So what's the number one reason you showed up? Because one idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. Now, jot this down in your notes. If you can see the slide, put it down. If you can't, then I'm going to tell you what it is right now. And here it is. It comes from Donald Trump. Now, think about Donald Trump. Forget, forget the picture up here, though, but just think about Donald Trump right now, right? And here's a guy. You talk about believing, who at one time was upside down $900 million. Now, think about that. If you're upside down $900 million, and you go over to your staff, you're talking to your professional advisors, you're talking to your financial advisors, and they tell you, file bankruptcy. And you say, I'm not doing it. $900 million upside down. Now, some of us, if you were $10,000 upside down, you'd be concerned. If you're in your house right now and you were $100,000 or $200,000 upside down, you may be really concerned. But Donald Trump at one point was $900 million upside down. And he didn't file bankruptcy. Because he believed, he said, what actions do I have to take to get out of bankruptcy? Now, think about this right now. What actions do you need to take to really achieve your goals? And one of the things he said, and I, I held this belief, and you can jot this down, you can see it. So you want to jot this down in your notes. You don't want to miss this. He says this. As long as you're going to be thinking, think big. 
Just think as big as you can think. In fact, as long as you're going to be thinking, think big. Right now, in the, in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group, I want you to jot this down in your notes. Jot this down in your notes. Think big. Just think as big as you can possibly think. Then ask yourself the question, what actions do I need to take to get there? Like, what actions do I need to take to get there? And today, we're going to share with you those actions. Today, we're going to share with you step by step exactly not only what you need to do, but more importantly, what others have done before. You've heard this phrase before, and it's so important. Success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. So we have to think about what are things that we can do. And what really I admired about Donald Trump, again, even if you don't like the guy, I mean, you ain't got to like the man. You really don't. But you got to respect anyone. There's $900 million upside down thinks big, takes the actions, turns it around, and finds themselves where they are right now. You've, I've, I've got to admire. I mean, I, I, I've, I've just got to. But here's what I admire most. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to share this with you. I wasn't going to, but it's helped me. And I'm sensing right now that if it can help me, it can help you. And so I want to share this with you, and, 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 and here it is. If others have done it, so can you. Just put that in your notes if you're taking notes, and put an ashes by that. If someone else has done it, so can you. And how encouraging that is to know that others have done it, and so can you. And all you have to do is kind of follow some of the things they've done. Now, you don't have to work as many hours as they've done. Um, you might not want to do exactly what they've done, but you can hold that belief. So I said to myself, there have been other people out there that have been successful helping small businesses grow their business, improve their revenues, improve their processes, automate their business, market their companies. Others have been successful in doing it, and so can we. And that's what's really encouraging. That's what's really, really exciting about it. So I stepped back, and I said, okay, what did he do? Now, I'm going to share some of, the, some of the best ideas on the planet, some of the insider secrets right now. I'm going to sell, share with you exactly what you can do to improve your sales results. I'm going to do that in, in the time I had. I, I wish I had more time. I, I really did. But step back for a moment. Think about your goal that you want to achieve. Maybe you had a goal you want to earn this year an extra $50,000. What would it mean if you thought big? Maybe you want to earn an extra $100,000. This is over and beyond whatever you're earning today. Maybe some of you just want to earn an extra $5,000 per month in personal income. You pay yourself, not to the business, but what you pay yourself. Here's what I want you to do. Think bigger than you can ever think. Take whatever that number is. Take that times 10. Now, whoa, Shay, you don't understand. $50,000 times 10 is $5 million. Come on now. Come on. Come on. No problem. Take it times Shay, that's still a lot of money, two and a half million dollars, come on. I can't think that big. It's okay. Whatever your number is, start where you are and just double it. Now, I'm believing right now, even for myself, I mean, I'm believing that I can double my income, I can double the production, I can double the number of people that we're serving right now. I believe that. I'm going to think big, and I want you to think big as well. Today is your day to think big. And here's what's really cool. Your mind, your subconscious mind, doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. Now, how cool is that? It doesn't know the difference. So you can imagine right now that you are that producer. You can think big and say, what would the actions of a person be that was making, I don't know, $1 million a year? How would they think? What would their actions be? What would their activities be? What decisions would they be making? And you can imagine you're that person right now. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference. You may have a little inner voice saying, you're not that person. Let's ignore that person right now. And let's focus on you. You think big. You are that person. You can just step right into your greatness right now. You can be that person. How cool is that? And your mind don't know if it's real or not. Because you can still take those actions. And that's what's really cool. That's what's really cool all about it. So let me tell you a quick story. Because for some of you, it's the very first time you met me. Others have seen me before. Others of you, you've been to at the seminars, you've watched the webinars, you've seen the hangouts, and then others of you, hey, you're like tuning in for the very, very first time. 
So let me tell you a little about myself. Let's tell me what we're doing here at Peak Performers. And let me just share with you the two outcomes I have for the time that I'm here. Some of you have been at a bonus session right now. I got time, but bonuses. So a little, so a little, so a little bit about myself, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a native Washingtonian. Only worked for two companies my entire career, just my entire career, by the way. I, I worked for Citibank after undergraduate. Went to Morgan State, by the way. It was, it's in Baltimore, Maryland. Great school, great foundation school. I enjoyed my time at Morgan State. Shout out to all the alumni for those Morgan State Bears, by the way. We'll get a better football team this year. Uh, we've been struggling with football for a while now. And then after undergraduate, I went to uh, Johns Hopkins, which is also in Baltimore, Maryland. Shout out to all the John Hopkins alum out there as well. And then I went to uh, work for Citibank. I only worked for two companies my entire career. I worked for MCI, I mean, I worked for Citibank, and then I worked for Verizon. And then after about nine years at Verizon, back in 2004, Verizon gave me the pink slip or they laid me off. And perhaps you all know someone who's been laid off. I mean, it's a very challenging situation. So I found myself kind of laid off, which is kind of tough to do. You kind of go home, and no matter how much you know it's going to happen <laughs> in corporate America, you see the handwriting on the wall. It was still a shock because I didn't see myself being part of that group. I, I just never did. Kind of embarrassed, and uh, then you try to find a way to pick yourself up, which is what we do, right? Yeah, we have a pity pat party for a little while, and that's okay. Then we got to kind of get ourselves back together. So I decided at the time I was going to start my own company and went through a lot of challenges starting, just getting started. I mean, you know, other folks, they had companies and you, you see them out there, you think, to, hey, I can do that, I can do that. And then I went through a divorce. And um, it's very, it's tough. It's very painful, by the way. It's very, very painful going through a divorce. Um, I didn't do it once, but the time I did it twice. So think about losing the love of your life twice, I mean, two times. I mean, I mean it's, um, it's tough. It's tough. It's very, very challenging trying to get a business off the ground. Um, you lose the loved one or they, they leave you, for lack of a better term. It's um, very, very serious, very, very serious. But you tell yourself, I got to keep going. I, I want this business. Um, if others have done it, I, you just believe you can. Then it just, just doesn't happen. And then you find yourself in bankruptcy. And so imagine the embarrassment. I get laid off of my job, a divorce, a very painful situation, and now bankruptcy. I mean, it's, you're at the lowest of the lowest of the lowest of the lowest. In fact, it really can't get any lower than that. You really don't believe in getting lower than that until your truck gets repossessed. And so you... Um, you find yourself out there without a vehicle. Yeah, you know, I mean, think about it. You're out of, you're out of school. Um, I had both my sons at the time, so I'm with two boys, and you want to be this role model. You want to, you want to do the best you can for them. You, you really do, and then you don't have a car. <laughs> Not a good position to be in, especially when you want to try to live your dream and you want to have this business going off. So, in 2004, I mean, I, I was in a worse position than. You are right now. Um, and that's tough to do. So you have to start thinking about, how can I get this business going? And I'm out there, and at the same time as I'm trying to get business, I'm unable to sell. I'm just not getting any sales at all. At all. And here was the problem I really had. I didn't know anything about sales. And when you don't know anything about sales, and you're in business, and you're trying to improve your income, it just, it just gets more and more and more and more challenges. So here was my problem. I just didn't know anything about sales. So I did like a, a number of you, trying to raise two boys, pull myself out of bankruptcy, losing the love of my life twice. I said, I've got to turn this thing around, because I still believe. If others have done it, so could I. And you might be in that position right now. And I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we have this message to share with you today. I'm glad that the Peak Performance Institute has, has put this on today as a way to help millions of you out there. Because that's our mission, 
We're going to help as many people as possible as we can. During the time that we're here on this earth, we only have so much time. We just only have so much time. The hourglass is, is draining on all of us right now. So we've got to we gotta get our best up. We've got to step up. We've got to do some things. So I decided to do like, like some of you out there. I decided I'm going to go out there and I'm going to study some of the best of the best in my industry. That was my commitment to myself. No matter what the cost. I had to borrow the money. I had to do some things. That, that's not important. But I said I was going to do it. So I went out and some of the big names you know is like a Les Brown or a Tony Robbins or... Even Zig Ziglar, I mean, he's no longer with us. At least in body, he's not here. But in spirit, he's here every single day. When I hear his audios, I hear him. When I watch his videos on YouTube, I see him. And I had a chance to meet Zig Ziglar, like in person. And it was the dream of my life. I flew out to Dallas, Texas. It was at his 81st birthday party. And they told us while we were there, they said, for an extra $2,000, you can have a very private meeting with Zig Ziglar. I'm like, $2,000, that's it? So I scrapped, I worked, I borrowed, and put that extra $2,000 together. And I showed up. I had my best suit on. I mean, I was ready. Got there, and they said, we're ushering you into the VIP section with Zig Ziglar. And so I went through the doors, and lo and behold, like 5,000 of the folks there. I mean, yeah, I'm like, whoa, this is a private session. But here's something that he did that I never will forget. Truly, truly incredible. He stood in one place. And he shook every hand as they came across. And you only had about two seconds. And he said the same script to everybody, by the way. So I was in line patiently. 45 minutes later, I get there. And I said, Shay Brown, pleasure to meet you. And you know, do you know what he said? He shook my hand and said, I'll see you at the top. That's all he said to me. He shook my hand and said, I'll see you at the top. And you know what? I believe him. Of course, I had to move on. I, mean, I wish I could have stayed there. But I believe him. He said, I'll see you at the top. And sometimes, as I said before, you need someone to believe in you. And I'm going to see Zig Ziglar at the top. The man said, he's still here in spirit, maybe not in body, but he's still here in spirit. Think about that. What does it take for you to get to the top? What attitudes do you have to change? What systems do you have to have in place? What habits do you need to really put in place today to make it to the top of your game? And so after that conversation of I'll see you at the top, I decided that he would see me at the top. And I was going to turn my life around. I was going to do whatever it took. I was going to study as hard as I had to study, listen to as many audios as I could. YouTube wasn't a big thing back there. And then I had an opportunity, being on the internet, to go out to Rockland, California, and meet a gentleman by the name of Eric Lawton. Now, I met a lot of folks in my day. $5,000. Now, $5,000 a day, that don't seem like a lot of money. It's like no big deal. It's, it's no big deal, $5,000. $5,000 seems like no big deal. But it was a big deal for me. It was all that I had at the time. So I flew out to Rockland, California to spend some time with Eric Lofthome. And while I was there, and who was Eric Lofthome that day? Who was this guy, Eric? Well, he was Tony Robbins' number one sales guy. He even went back and trained the Tony Robbins organization. He had his own sales training company for over 13 years. And he taught me something that day. And I was there, small group, small intimate group, but he taught me something. And the idea he taught me is what I shared with some of you earlier. And I'm going to share it with you again. If you missed it, it's OK. I'm, I'm glad you finally made it. And if you didn't, go ahead and jot this down in your notes that this selling indeed is a learned skill, that we can all learn to sell. He said, Shay, you can do it. You can do it. And that's when he told me I'd be one of the top five sales trainers of my generation. I would be the Brian Tracy of my generation. I would be the Zig Ziglar, the same guy who shook my hand and said, I'll see you at the top. I could be that guy. Not because of them, but because of what I wanted to do in myself. So I'm really, really glad. So here's what I learned. Jot this down in your notes. It's up on the screen, and you can put this in your notes. This is so important. And even if you don't like sales, just please put this in your notes. I'm going to write on the board. That's how important it is to me and how important it is to you. And it could very well be a, a game changer for you right now, is this. Follow along. Just follow along with me. Selling, even if you don't like sales, don't worry. Even if you have a resistance to selling, don't worry, is essential. Now, that's a fancy word for some of you, but it's important. Is essential. It's 
Selling is essential to, okay, selling is essential to, I'm putting this in red. When you put it in red, that means it's important. It means it's important. So come on, come, 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 come. Important to what? Here it is. Every, E-V-E-R-Y. Selling is essential to every business. Not some businesses, not partial businesses, but selling is essential to every business. And today, we'll be talking about that, right? Because it's essential. And that's what he taught me. So I, I took those ideas that I learned from, from Eric and from Tony Robbins and from Les Brown and from Hilton Johnson and from Brenda Bouchard and so many out there. Lisa Sasevich, you name it, Lisa Nichols. I mean, so many. George C. Frazier. I mean, so many out there. I'm a, just, I'm, I'm just a hodgepodge of all of these. I'm a cholesterol. Is that what you call it? Cholesterol. You know, that little thing you see. Remember that thing you see? You look through it and it had all those different colors and they would blend in all together. Remember that thing? That's what I am. I'm like a hodgepodge of all that stuff, right? So I applied those business, those ideas in my company. Um, first of all, we stayed in business. We hired people. We expanded. Then we started teaching those same sales ideas to everyday people that were just like me. And I'm just like you, by the way. I'm just like you right now. And I'm still in the field every day. I got my sleeves rolled up. I'm in the trenches. I mean, I'm down in the trenches. I'm selling every day. I mean, these systems I'm going to share with you are the same systems. And I love systems because you can plug into the system, you can do it, and get the same result. It's not only what I'm using, but what the team is using and our organization. So I'm really, really pleased to be part of Peak Performance Institute. And our mission is to help 10 million businesses over the next 10 years really impact the world with their products and services. And we have systems to do that. And I'm, I'm really, really pleased to be part of this very, very special journey. I'm really pleased to uh, work with a gentleman by the name of Trevor Otts. I mean, I get the, the pleasure of being on one side, and he's on the other side, and yet we're together. And so many people at the firm right now, I mean, just seeing the expansion and the different ideas and different talents, see it all come together. So I still consider part of it as like a sales university. So we teach these skills and we teach other skills to everyday people to improve their life. So at the end of the day, what do they get? Okay, they make more sales. Yay! I had to say that. You know I was going to say, they make more sales. At the end of the day, they have joy and peace in their life. That's what they're looking for. That's what they want. Yeah, they're going to make this world a better place. Yes, they're going to make their family a better place. But inside of them, inside of them, they want joy. They want peace of mind. They want knowing that they've done the best they can, and they've helped other people. And if that's you right now, then you tune in. If that's you, you listen in. If that's you, I want you to pay close attention. And jot this one word down in your notes. Jot this one word down in your notes. This is what you're going to tell yourself every day. I learned this from Tom Hopkins many, many, many years ago. I'm not going to do the whole skit, but many years ago I learned this. But I want you to jot this down in your notes. Write down the word, unbelievable. There it is right there on the slide, unbelievable. Now, if you know who Tom Hopkins is, go Google Tom Hopkins. He's like the guru of sales. I mean, this guy, whew, truly amazing. Never met him. No, I've never met him in person. You know, just, just haven't met him. But, oh, man, am I a student? I mean, I'm just a student. But the one thing he said, sometimes you only need one idea. One idea per minute is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. One thing he would say is, if someone asks how you're doing, tell them, unbelievable. Someone says, how business is going? You tell them, unbelievable. They tell you, how are you focused? Or how are things going with you? Unbelievable. And no matter what, every single day, you wake up with the mindset that today is going to be an unbelievable day. Unbelievable means you can't even see how big the day is. In fact, jot this down in your notes and put this in a private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. Like, go out there right now in the virtual networking live, if you're watching for the first time, virtual networking live, and type in the word unbelievable. That's what's going to happen today. I'm telling you, it's going to be what? Unbelievable. The presentation I'm about to give, not because of Shea Brown, not because of me, but because of the ideas and systems to help other folks. It's going to be what? Unbelievable. The presentation that Trevor Oz has coming up, that he's only given once a year. I haven't seen him give this presentation in over a year. But he said he's going to bring it out today. It's going to be what? Unbelievable. That's what I want you to know. And I, buckle up right now. Like, put your seatbelt on right now. Buckle it up, because we're about to go on a ride. We're about to take this journey. We're about to take your business to another level. We're about to do what we haven't done in over a year. But we're here for you today. 
I'm, I'm, just, I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing this out. This is one of the ones you can, you can share out. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. We're on for incredible, incredible, incredible ride. But let me step back and share three ways to increase your sales results. Now, you're not surprised by this. I mean, you're nowhere near surprised by this. But if you're hearing it for the first time, jot it down in your notes. If this is the very first time, there are three fundamental ways to increase your sales results. This is the philosophy of my company. It's what I believe. And it flat out what? Works. Flat out works. And it comes to work with literally thousands of sales professionals and countless companies. But it always boils down to one of these three areas. Or sometimes it's a combination of all three. Jot this down your notes. You see this up here? You see it? You see it? Jot it down. Here it is right here. Three. How many ways is there? Three fundamental ways really to increase your what? Sales results. Put a three and then circle it just like that. Just like this. Three. Three fundamental ways. And here they are. Here they are. I'm going to share them with you in time I have. Three fundamental ways to increase your sales results. Jot these three things down in your notes. Some of you, you're going to pay this for it. <clears throat> we call it the inner game. That's one. I-N-N-E-R game. So just jot down your notes. Inner game. The second way is the outer game, O-U-T-E-R-G-A-M-E. And the third way is action. So let me back that up again. You have the inner game, I-N-N-E-R game. You can read that. You can see that. But go ahead and jot it down in your notes. The second way is the outer game, O-U-T-E-R-G-A-M-E. And the third way is action. So you have the inner game, the outer game, and what? Action. Now let me share one sentence definition just so you have it for your notes. The inner game is the mental side of success. That's right. The mental side of success. So it's your belief systems. It's your comfort zone. It's how you deal with the fear of rejection. It's truly just your mindset. It's your mindset. And check in with yourself right now. Just check in with yourself right now and ask yourself the question, what has been your mindset over the last just 30 days, just the last 30 days, have you felt unstoppable? Have you really felt that your progress was going to be unbelievable? Have you went after or targeted new clients that were outside your comfort zone? Just a quick story to inspire you. and Think about just mindset, just, just mindset in itself. I was doing training for a company called Medtronics. They're a pharmaceutical company, and they provide medical devices when you're having open heart surgery. But that's not the point. I was down in St. Louis, and I shared this story that I believe is very applicable to, to all of you listening and watching right now. I said, you know, it might be a true story that one of the three U.S. automobile makers may go out of business. And this was several years ago, and back in 2009, 2010, the economy had experienced this whole meltdown. The world was in a financial upheaval. And at the time, you may recall, two of them was already in bankruptcy. So it was possible that if one of those three companies didn't change what they were doing, that one of them could have went out of business. All of them could have gone out of business. But here's what I do know. And this is an undeniable truth. We're going to still buy cars. We're going to all buy cars a little differently. And so the mindset that I was sharing that day is that buyers are still buying, sellers are still selling, and nothing else matters. Just think about that for a moment. Just think about that. Just think about that for a moment. Buyers are still buying, sellers are still selling. At the end of the day, nothing else matters. One of the things I shared with our team recently, and I share it frequently, is this. I said, you know, there might not be enough business right now for everyone out there selling sales services or marketing services. Just like there might not be enough business for everyone in your industry. If you're a financial planner right now, maybe it's not enough business for everyone in financial planning. If you're an insurance agent, maybe it's not business for everyone in insurance. If you're a speaker, which you guys are watching, speakers, <laughs> or trainers, or authors, or coaches, maybe there's not enough business in your industry for everyone else. But here's the mindset you can have every single day, the mindset I want my team to have, the mindset that I have every single day, and the mindset you can adopt right now. Here it is. Just listen. Here it is. Here it is. There's plenty of business for me. 
There might not be enough business for everyone else out there doing what I'm doing right now, but Shea Brown, there's plenty of business for me. Buyers are still buying, sellers are still selling. At the end of the day, you know what? Nothing else even matters. It really doesn't matter. You can do this. To be a great champion, you must believe you are the what? Best. And if not, pretend. Who said that? The greatest of all time. I love this slide. It's one of my favorite slides. The greatest of all time. None other than who? Muhammad Ali. And how important is that right now? You can pretend that you are. And I want you right now to say, you know what, Shay? I'm what? I'm amazing. Tell yourself right now, I'm unbelievable, Shay. The results are going to be unbelievable. And just start acting as if you were. The second fundamental way to really increase your sales results is the outer game. O-U-T-E-R-G-A-M-E. -E. And let me give you a one-sentence definition, just so you have it for your notes, just so you have it for your notes. The outer game is the tactical side of selling. The, the tactical side of selling. In selling, it, it really, really, truly boils down to what you say, when you say it, and how you say it. What you say, when you say it, and how you say it. It's the how-tos of selling. So it's your time management. Um, it's your goal setting. It's your database. It's your sales scripts that you're using every single day. It's the three key systems you need in any business, any economy, any time. Whether you're a seasoned professional. You've done this, Shay. I've been in business. I've done this before. Or you're very green, you're kind of new at this. This is a little different for you. Shay, this is a little different for me. You need these three key systems. Jot these three key systems down. We're, we're going to get to them today. Um, we're going to talk about them today. We're going to spend a little time today. And we're going to really improve in those areas. Let's put down three key systems. So three key systems. Do you know those three key systems? If you know those three key systems, go ahead and jot it, put it right down in the private elusive, exclusive Facebook group. Head on over to Virtual Networking Live. And <laughs> just go and write those three systems down. I I I'll give you a second to do that. If you know them, just, just jot them down. If you know them. If you don't, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you're going to be glad you're here, too. Three key systems you need in any business. System number one, one. Lead generation. system. So you need a way to find people who have a problem and share how you what? Solve it. So lead generation. Our number one job every day we get up, we'll talk about this a little later, is to find people who have a problem and share how we solve it. Number two, systems. These are systems. And I'm a systems sales trainer. I believe in doing the same thing about the same way every single time. That's all. You just follow a system. Why I like systems? Because they work. They're predictable. It's not will they work, should they work, could they work. If, it, if you do it one time, you can do it a thousand times. Yeah, I get sometimes things change. But for the most part, if you do something one time, you can do it a thousand times the exact same way. Okay, let's get back here. Lead generation. Second one is an appointment setting system. So you need, a way, you need to find a way to get in front of problem, people who have a problem and share how you solve it. Once you're in front of them, it could be face-to-face. -face. Some of you, you still do face-to-face -face appointments, and that, that, that's good. Some of you, you do phone appointments, and that still works. Others of you, um, you do a, a webinar, or you speak to an audience. Many of those here today are watching, and some, watch, some of you are watching online, and those that are here, hello. I mean, this is still an appointment. You're here. You showed up. The third system you need, I'm not going to spend too much time on appointments right now. Maybe we'll dive a little deep. Maybe we'll look, maybe, maybe we'll dive a little deep in and where we are right now. So the third system you need is a 
lead, conversion, system. A lead conversion system. A lead conversion system is converting non-buyers into buyers. Grab a sip of water here. Converting non-buyers into buyers. Selling is still a pay for performance industry. You perform, you get paid. That's what I said, right? So it's not if I get paid, will I get paid, should I get paid, maybe I'll get paid. Now we can cross all these out. Just cross all those out, right? Just, just, just cross those out. You perform. You get paid. Jot this down in your notes. This is a little advanced, but I promise you, you can handle this. Jot this, this piece, put this in your notes. Peak performers, peak perform, regardless of the situation. Just jot it down in your notes. Peak performers, peak perform, regardless of the situation. Go ahead and jot that now in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. Just, just go ahead right now, head on over there now. If you're watching for the very first time and you're like, Shay, I, 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 yeah, how do I get there? Go to virtualnetworkinglive.com, virtualnetworkinglive.com, and you can join into this conversation. You could participate in this conversation today. And go ahead and add out there peak performers, peak perform, regardless of the situation. Again, peak performers, peak perform, regardless of the situation. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter the situation you're in. Um, you can still peak perform. So you could not feel like it, and you could still peak perform. And think about that. what that would mean right now. That could be the, the breakthrough you're looking for, where you now have this incredible breakthrough that allows you to step out there and allows you to peak perform. Very, very powerful, um, very important, and exactly what you may need right now. The third fundamental way to increase your sales results, and you probably see some pictures flying up here. I'm not going to share a lot of stories in the time I have. I could share stories of clients of ours. Um, Doris V1, who I could show a picture in a moment, who took the ideas that I'm sharing right now, implemented her business, and created a breakthrough. She wasn't trying to generate more revenue. She just wanted to reduce the stress. She wanted to be able to help folks. And she also wanted to find herself where she could have an easier conversation and wouldn't be so uptight. This was very personal to her. And what she found out is that she wasn't following a what? A system. She wasn't following a system. I'm going to get into a system a little later on. But there are three key systems, lead generation, an appointment setting system, and a lead conversion system. Now, the third fundamental way to increase your sales results, I said there were there were three ways, and I'm really pleased I could share this with you today. There were really three ways. The first one was inner game. The second one was outer game. And the third one is action. And action is just moving yourself to follow through and do all those things that you know you should do in your business. It's one thing to intellectually know to do something, it's another thing to actually do it. I have two, I have a niece and a nephew. Um, they're young, under 12, and they know everything they should do. They just don't always do it. <laughs> they don't always do it. But it's not about my niece, it's not about my nephew. It's really all about you. And check in with yourself and ask yourself the question, have I been a person of action over the last 30 days? If you have, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. Tell yourself, good job, good job. I got to keep it going. I got to keep it going. And if you haven't been a person of action, you just have not been a person of action, what would it mean right now if you just stepped up and you took more action? You just stepped forward and you took more action in your business. Just another story to inspire and motivate you around taking action. I was up in Chicago, Illinois, doing training for a company called Share the Wealth. Uh, I was prepared. They brought me there. Their financial planning company to speak at their convention about taking action. So I prepared, I was fired up. I mean, I'm 
I'm just ready to go. Like today, I'm just ready to go. Then right before I was to speak, Peter came over to me. He said, Che, you only have five minutes. I'm like, five minutes? Whoa, seriously? Like, everyone, what could I say to you in five minutes? What could I possibly say in five minutes to really just make a difference for you? So I had to pull back the big black curtain, if you will. I had to reach into my treasure chest of secrets. Ah. And I gave him four words. And these four words made a difference for Peter and his team. He made an extra $17,000 over 45 days, and it could make a difference for you. Go ahead and jot these four words down in your notes. And here it is. Separate feeling from action. Separate feeling from action. That going forward, you don't have to feel like doing anything, but you take the right actions. You focus on the activities of a sales superstar, and you will get the results of a superstar. I mean, results take as long as results take. And sometimes you get paid to today, and sometimes you get paid tomorrow, but when you take the right actions, you always, always get the right results. Think about what that would mean right now. And if we were doing an example, let's just say, get out a sheet of paper, please. Just, just take out a sheet of paper. Just, let's just do this quick exercise. Take out a sheet of paper. And on a sheet of paper, draw a circle. Just draw a circle, like, like this. I don't know if you can see this. It's just a circle. And then draw another circle connecting the two circles. And in the middle of the circle, so you've got these two circles, and they're joined up right in the middle of the circle, by the way. In the middle of the circle, you're going to write feelings, actions. Feelings, actions. And sometimes folks have the mindset that in order for them to take the right actions, they have to have the right feelings. So if I don't have the right feelings, Shay, I don't take the right actions. So if I don't feel like going to the gym, I don't go. If I don't feel like making phone calls, I don't take the actions. Um, if I don't feel like going after a new client, or I don't feel like I'm up to talking to them today, I don't do it. If I don't feel like being in this training session today and really staying focused, I don't do it. And so their mindset, their inner game, <laughs> their mindset and their inner game is these both have to be together. And that's not the case. That's not what has to work. Here's what I want you to do. You can take the same thing, write feeling over here, write action over here, and here's what I want you to know. They're too independent. You cannot feel like going to the gym, let's say, for example, and you can still take the right actions and go to the gym. You could feel like, maybe I don't make phone calls today. I don't have time to send the email off today. I'm just, I'm just not in it today. Today's my kickback relax day. And you can still take the same actions. You can still do that. See, you don't have to feel like doing anything just to take the right action. And that's the good news. That's the power of knowing exactly what you want to do, where you want to go, and how you want to go it. Separate feelings from actions, and all of a sudden you create a breakthrough. I mean, you move through it, and that's what you're looking to do. That's the difference between those that are successful and those that are unsuccessful. Those that are successful and those that are unsuccessful. If you're right now, you're listening, you're watching, you're tuned in, you're doubting to me right now in the private group, go ahead and write down Separate feelings from actions. Again, remember, most people operate in this sphere right here. They've got to do both of these. They've got to get that combination to make it work. And that's not the case. There are two independent actions. And that's the good news. See, that's what you can do. You can separate feelings from actions. So in the group, just go ahead and type in separate feelings from actions. Put that in there. Separate feelings from actions. That going forward, you don't have to feel like doing anything. But you can, take, you, take, you can take the right actions. You focus on the activities of a superstar, and you will get the results. To separate feeling from action, don't believe us. I'm not going to tell these stories today, but I do want you to know that we work with a number of our clients, and one of my, one of my clients that we recently worked with to kind of help them separate feelings from actions was a person named Amani. I'll go back and just show her slide there, Amani. And one of the things that 
Amani wanted to do is she was in a position where she's like, you know, I really need to have a breakthrough. She's in accounting, been in accounting for a number of years, and she knew she should be given front of the room presentations. That means to grow her accounting firm, and she's been there for 13 years. So here's someone who's, who has a master's in taxation, she's a CPA, very successful firm for over 13 years. And one action she just felt like is I should go out and speak to groups about how to improve their accounting in their systems in their companies. So they could save on their taxes, they could also have, save on their bookkeeping, and it was a joy that she had. She just hadn't taken the right action. She sat at a seminar, a little different than this one, and she said, you know what, there's one action I need to take. She got associated to the idea I mentioned earlier, that one idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. She took a step. She started doing what you call here, speaking to the front of the room and sharing with folks their experience. At one of her events, I was there, it was about three of us there, and no one really showed up. That was her first one. Came back and she invited me to the second one. There was more people there. And she was able at that one event to get a client, became her largest paying client for the year. A lot of other things has happened. If you saw her today, you said, Amani, what's one of the reasons why your business has thrived? And this was during 2010, 2011, 2012. I mean, very challenging times here in the United States. She would say, I separate feelings from actions. I teach that to my team. It's the one principle that I hold on to every single day. Now, it's not about Armani. It's not about other clients that we work with. This is all about you. Right now, jot down in your notes. Put in your notes right now. You've been reading your notes for 14, yeah, 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. You've been reading your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. Write down what's one of the actions that you should take right now. Just, just write it down. What's one of the actions you should take right now to really improve your business? Just one. And jot that down. You know what? I want you to know right now, but I believe that you're going to do that. Whatever that action is that you just wrote down, I believe. Just like Amani did, I believe that you're going to do the exact same thing. And whatever the action is, go ahead and share that with me. You, you know what? I'll do this. This will be a private conversation between just you and me. I'm not going to do this for everyone, but I'll do this for you. Whatever action you put down, just go ahead and email it to me. It's a very private conversation. So it's going to go to my private email. Only I read my email. It's going to go right there. And there will be a place where we can hold that for you. And I'm going to hold the belief for you that the action that you just wrote down you're going to take, you're not only going to implement, you're going to do it consistently. So let me give you my private email. It's Shay Brown at partnerslearning.com. Again, Shay Brown at partnerslearning.com. And just in the subject line, just put, my action is this. And if you want to write me something because you have a few minutes and you want to just type me a little private note and say, Shay, I'm going to go after large accounts, or Shay, I'm going to separate feelings from actions. Shay, I'm going to focus on this one system. Whatever it may be, let's, let's just stop for a moment. Let's, let's have this private conversation. I'm going to read it. That's my promise to you. I'm going to respond. That's my promise to you. Okay, I'm making that promise. So go ahead right now. Just, just email me at Shay Brown, C-H-E-B-R-O-W-N, at partnerslearning.com. Again, Shay Brown at partnerslearning.com. And type in there, separate feelings from actions, and what actions are you going to take? Go ahead right now, just put that in the group. What actions are you going to take? I'm excited. I can't wait to see the actions. I mean, this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, this is going to create a breakthrough for a number of you right now. And it's going to be exactly what you need. I mean, this business acceleration training session, and this very private session that you're able to be a part of right now, this is the exact breakthrough you need right now at this time in your life, where we are to make the next 12 months your best 12 months ever. So you just keep tuning in. You keep listening. You keep watching. We've got some great, great content we're going to share with you. But again, maybe you're like Monty. You're ready for that breakthrough. You just have to take the right action. That's all you need. And today, we're going to, yeah, this, is, this is going to be so, I'm so happy. I'm so, just so excited to be part of this journey. The next idea I'm going to share with you is called baseline strategy. Go ahead and jot that down in your notes. It's just two words. Baseline strategy. Go ahead, like right now. Like seriously, put it in your notes. Baseline strategy. Now, your baseline right now is everything you're doing today, 
to produce the results you produce in the day on a monthly basis. That's what the baseline strategy is. So here's what the baseline strategy says. Continue to do everything you're doing today because it's producing a positive result, producing a positive result, and then you add one new idea. You implement a new strategy, and thus you produce a greater result than, let's say, $10,000. So let's say your baseline right now is everything you're doing today to produce $10,000 per month. If that's your income. For some of you, it's, it's way higher than that, and you're not even excited. That's okay. Use your income. For others, it's not quite there yet, and you're very excited. Whatever it is, let's say it's $10,000 per month. Then your baseline right now is everything you're doing today to produce $10,000 per month in income. So it's the number of phone calls you're making, it's your time management, it's your goal setting, it's your social media outreach that you're doing right now, it's all of the networking events you're going to right now, it's all the trainings that you can combine, that you can muster, it's all the time you're spending on YouTube and, and other places just reading and trying to get the information. It's all the money you spent. Generate exactly $10,000 per month. Here's what the baseline strategy says. Listen in. This is important. Continue to do everything you're doing today because it's producing a positive result. It's producing $10,000 per month. And then you add one new idea. You implement a new strategy. And thus, you produce a greater result than $10,000. Now, part of the purpose of your subconscious mind is to answer whatever questions you ask it. It's the purpose of your subconscious mind. It really is. So ask yourself right now, what's one thing, just one thing that you can do right now to generate more income in your business? And go ahead and jot it down right now. Just, just jot it down. Maybe you can do it, or you believe someone else can do it. What's the one idea? In fact, Head on over to the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group or make a comment right there where you are and share what's one thing you or someone can do right now to really generate more income in their business and jot it down. Maybe it's make more phone calls, and, and that's, that's fine. Maybe it's generate more qualified referrals. Put that down as well. Maybe it's to have better power partner relationships. Put that down. Maybe somebody just need to set more appointments. You're like, shit, I just need more appointments. If I get in front of more qualified people, I will close more deals. Whatever it may be, just go ahead and, and put that down in your notes right now. And, and, and share it. Let, let, let's share it. Let's pay this for it. Let's, let's all participate. Let's all help everybody. Because it's not all about Shea Brown Day. This is just not about me. It's not about Trevor Otts. It's not about Peak Performers Institute. This is really all about you, okay? So just, just, just stop for a moment and, and jot it down. Jot it down, please. Pay it for it. Put it in the private group. Like, put it out there right now. What's one thing that, that you can do? What, what's something you can do? What's something someone else can do? I'm going to share some ideas. I mean, this is business acceleration, okay? It's, this is about accelerating your business and taking it to another level. That's what this is about. So what can you do? If you're perfect, say, Shay, I'm perfect. That's okay. Go ahead right now. Put it out there. Private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. How do you get there? Go to virtualnetworkinglive.com. Virtualnetworkinglive.com. And some of you are in the private viewing area right now. Private viewing area. Just jot it out there. What's something that you can do? I'm going to give you something in advance right now. You don't hear me do this um, unless you're at a setting like you are right now. And I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad you tuned in. If, if someone paid this forward to you and, and said you should join on, you should be glad. In fact, right now, just take the private elusive group and, and take the link right now and just, just share it out. We're going, you know what, for just a few moments, and then we'll, we'll cut that off for them. We're going to allow them to tune in, and you're going to help someone else. So here's what I'd like for you to do. Just take the link. You can see it right there above. Hit the share button. Is that right? Yeah, hit the share button. And just, just share it out right now. Just, just, just right now, just hit the Facebook icon. You can see that right above. You see it? You see, it's right there. Do me a favor. Let's help someone else out there today. Let's pay this message forward. So go ahead right now, hit the button, and then just put on there, join us now. It's amazing. That's all you got to put. Join us now. It's amazing. Just go ahead and hit the 
private icon right there. Just click it, just click it, let's pay it forward, let's help someone else, help someone else. And then right next to it, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see the Twitter icon there. Tweet it out as well. If you know someone right now, take the link, share it, send them a private email message say, you've got to be there now. This is business acceleration. These are the best of the best ideas we know. Coming up later, Trevor Ott's part of Peak Performance Institute will be coming up and sharing a very special message on neural linguistic presentations. Now, I'm going to share something right now on a closing mastery playbook. I, mean, I haven't done this. I'm glad you're here. You should be glad you're here as well, and I'm sharing it with you. So let's go a step a little deeper. It's a little advanced, but you've been with me for a few minutes now. <laughs> so you can handle this. You can handle this. There are three things you can do to any baseline. There's only three fundamental things. A moment ago, I, I kind of shared with you from the viewpoint of what can you do. Then I'm going to give you three things you can do. Some of you are trainer trainer. So you see this through a trainer trainer lens. You can teach this concept or distinction to someone else. Here it is, three things. Number one thing you can do is you can add something new to the baseline. So there was a time that we weren't doing live streaming events. It's a concept, it was an idea. And we wanted to reach more people, we wanted to have a greater impact, we wanted to change more lives, we wanted to shift businesses. We wanted to make a difference in these United States of America in the economy. And we know that one way to get there was through small businesses, which <laughs> I happen to be a small business owner, <laughs> I'm proud of it. And so we added something new. We added live streaming. So now it's a way for us to be able to connect with you through the power of those fiber optic lenses, through the lens of that camera right now. And to all of you who are out here right now, this is for everyone, not just for those at the camera, but for everyone. So we added something new. And I'm really pleased we did. I'm glad we did, and I'm glad you can participate today from wherever you are, whatever country you're in as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The second thing you can do to a baseline, so earlier I asked you to add something new to generate more revenue, you can subtract something from the baseline. So let me tell you a quick story about one of our clients. And she was at a seminar just like this, and she was going through this exercise, and she said, you know, I need to subtract going to Starbucks during the middle of the day. Now, I'm not endorsing stopping to go to Starbucks, so please, those that are watching the Starbucks, I love Starbucks. I will publicly endorse Starbucks. Of course, I don't drink Starbucks coffee, by the way, or <laughs> drink any tea. But she said she didn't want to go to Starbucks during the day. That's not what she wanted to do. Why? When she looked at it, she was spending about 20 minutes a day or more leaving her office, going downstairs, walking over to Starbucks, and getting Starbucks coffee. Think about it, 20 to 30 minutes a day, two and a half hours a week. She sat right in the seat just like you're sitting right now and said to herself, I can subtract that from my baseline, I can plan what I'm going doing lunch, and I give myself two and a half extra hours a week. It's 10 hours a month, productive time. Myself, a little sneak preview into the window of my life. Come on in, come on in, come on into the window of my life, come on in, and see, um, I had to subtract something myself. See, I'm, I'm like you. I'm not invincible <laughs> by no stretch of the imagination. I'm just not. So if you were peeking through, like, see like now, see like, let's say, let's say this, this was a window. Woo! This was a window, let's say. And let's say you right now were peeking into the window of my life. This is you with this big smiley face. Yay! Because if you're peeking in, I want you to be smiling, by the way. And yes, this is a thinner version of all of us. <laughs> and you were right now just looking through the window of my life. Che, what did you have to subtract? I would tell you honestly, and I'm going to tell you what it is. And here it is. I have a, have a problem, and it's watching videos. I love to watch videos. I just love getting the email. I'll click on it. There is a video. If it's under 10 minutes, I'm likely to watch it. 20, 30 minutes, you might not get my attention. Um, but here's the problem I have. Sometimes those three, four-minute clips, I watch it one time, and then I watch it a second time, and I watch it a third time. And it's possible I may spend 10 to 15 minutes watching a video, and that's not the best use of my time at that moment. And so I looked at it and said, hmm, what can I subtract from my baseline? Because I held this belief that I could be four times more productive than I am right now. In fact, what would that mean to you right now? If you were four times more productive than you are right now, 
I'm not saying you're going to work four times harder. No, 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 no. You're not going to put in more hours. No, 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 no. Um, but you're going to be four times more productive. What would that mean right now? Like, okay, in all seriousness, let's, let's, in, the, in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group right now, just put in there, what would it mean if you were four times more productive? Now, let's make it real easy. Here's what you're going to type. Just head on over there to Virtual Networking Live. Again, virtualnetworkinglive.com. What is it? Virtualnetworkinglive.com. And go ahead right now. Just, just go ahead right now. Just type, I am four times more productive. So I got to put four times more productive. Make it real easy. What are you going to write? Four, F-O-U-R, times more productive. What would it mean right now? And I thought about that. I said, wow, if I was four times more productive, I could, I could make it to the gym. Um, I, could, I could cook. I could go to the grocery store. I could spend time on the phone. I could do the things that I enjoy doing. I may find, what's that thing called? Uh, what's it when you do like this? Uh, oh, balance. That's what it is, balance. Balance, balance, I had to find balance. And so I had to stop watching those certain videos during the time. So three things you can do to any baseline. Number one is you can add something new, add a live stream. Number two, you can subtract something. And number three, you can improve something. One of the areas that we're improving at Peak Performance Institute is our systems. So think about the database. We use Infusionsoft, by the way, great database, a lot of different ones out there. We say, okay, how can we be more efficient? How can we communicate with more people? How can we make this more effective? How can a team be able to interact from all over the place? And so we had to improve something. One of them was our systems, our internal infrastructure. For some of you today, and maybe Trevor, get into that, you, you have an opportunity to improve your sales, improve your structure, improve your marketing, improve your presentation. I mean, you're going to hear something today, neural linguistic presentations, um, again, once a year. I've never seen them get the information give. I'm telling you, I have not seen it myself, by the way. Maybe it's been a little bit here and a little bit there, so you're in for a treat. I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to tell you more about the Closing Mastery Playbook, because that's what we're talking about right now, and so it's going to help you. And others of you, you're like, God, that presentation, I need to be able to hypnotize people from the stage. I need to get into a presentation. I need to be able to do this. I need to be able to do that. Hold on, hold on to your seats. If you're in a position right now, you say, hey, Shay, I also need to improve my sales process. We're going to show you that as well. It's going to be truly amazing. So here's what I'd like you to do. Identify seven or more items that you can add to track to improve your baseline. Seven or more item, items you can add or subtract to improve your baseline. And here's what I want you to imagine for a moment. Imagine for a moment that I, I wave this magic wand and you can improve one selling skill that would really explode your business. Go ahead and jot that down right now. If you can improve one selling skill that would really improve your business, what would it be? Just, just jot it down. Matter of fact, share it in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. Share it right now where you are. What's one thing, just one thing that you can do right now, one thing you can do right now to truly skill set to explode your sales results. Go ahead and jot that down. Then number two, what's something else that you can do right now? It's another skill set. You said, Shay, if you wave this magic wand, you wave this wand, and you improve this area, it would just have an immediate impact. What would it be? And what's the third skill set? What's the third skill set? You improve this area, you would see an immediate increase. What would that skill set be? Like, really, what would it be? Jot it down. Put it down out there right now. Share it. Because someone else may have the same goal right now, to do exactly what you're doing right now. And this is a way of encouraging and a way of being part of a happy community. That's what we're all here for. We're all here to get better, myself included. If I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself, and I'm thinking to myself, whoa, what's one skill set, Shay? What's one skill set? And I want you to imagine for a moment that I wave this magic wand, and you're now, I don't know, generating more leads. You have appointments with qualified people who could use your products and services and have an interest in doing it. And number three, you flat out were closing more business. Just flat out, larger business deals. What would that mean for you right now? What would that mean for you? Maybe you earn an extra $5,000 per month. Maybe it's an extra $10,000 over and beyond what you're earning right now. So imagine you had an extra $5,000 per month, an extra $10,000 per month. It's going to your bank account month after month after month. There's this extra $10,000 per month. 
How would your life be different? What would you do with the money? Say, I would build my cash reserves. Okay, write that down in your notes. You'll be reading your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. Shay, I would pay off all my credit cards. Okay, write that down in your notes. Shay, I would pay my mortgage off. Write that down. Shay, I would send my kids to a school of their choice. Write that down. Shay, I would take care of the family members who are dependent on me right now. Financially, they're dependent on me. Write that down in your notes. And I want you to know that right now, that it's possible that you could achieve every single one of those goals you just write down, wrote down. Right now, every single one of them, with the presentation or the skill set I'm about to train on now, with the training material we have already packaged for you today, you can achieve everything you just wrote down. It can all become true. And it's possible right now that this will be the game changer for you. This will be the shift. This will be the catalyst. This will be what gets you going. This is the one idea you were waiting on. You see, maybe it takes four parts of the combination. Now, you're looking into my window now, right? So maybe it takes four parts to crack this code. So you have this code here. There's this lock. You say, okay, Shay, I got this lock. And it takes four combinations. And you've got one, two, and three dialed in. And there's, and there's, there's the fourth one. And you're trying to crack that code. And the fourth one is sales. And you're like, you know what, Shay? If I crack that code, if I hit this one time, turn it, turn it, I can't get that last one. And I nail that last one, I hit that number four, sales, my whole business will change. My life will change. Um, things will be much easier for me. They'll be much comfortable for me. I'm going to have peace of mind, Shay. Then I'm glad you're listening right now. I'm glad you're watching. I'm glad you're tuned in. And I'm glad that I could just be a part of it, that I could just share the message with you, that I could be a part of this journey along with you right now to take you from where you are to where you want to go. And I'm just thankful and humbled to be part of it. So let me go ahead right now, if I can. Get this. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh, it's in my pocket. I'm trying to find my clicker. Ta da Here it is. Let's go ahead and share a couple of things if we can. Les Brown, who I admire and respect, one of the things he says is, giving up is not an option. Now, we talk about imagine what's possible. And it's possible you can live your dream. And this is what I love that he says. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, it's possible. Here's what I'd like you to put in your notes. Put this in your notes right now. In fact, put this in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. Just type, it's possible. Put that down in your notes. It's possible. Even if you don't believe it's possible, it's possible. Even if it's been hard for you, you're like, Shay, I've stumbled. I'm like yourself. I've been laid off. I, I'm, I'm losing clients. I found myself in bankruptcy. I found myself divorced. And my car was people as kids. I mean, Shay, you don't get it. I had two kids in college. I get it. But I want you to know this right now. It's possible. Just put that in your notes. Put that in your notes. Put that in your notes right now. Put that in your notes right now. In fact, share that with me right now. That whatever your dream is, whatever you imagine is possible, that it is, here's what I want you to do. Just send me a text. Because, hey, I'm going to give my private phone number. Just, just right now. Just send me a text right now. Just, and just put, it's possible. What's the cell number? Let me give it to you. But those who do that, I'm do something very special for it. Just, this is for you who, who's ready. Now, I've got some content. But right now, I want you to believe it's possible. So text me. I'm going to write down my number. I'm going to tell you what to, what to put in there. And we're going to do something really, really special. For those that believe it's possible, even if you don't believe it, say, Shea Brown, you said you're going to hold the belief for me, and I'm going to hold that belief for every single one of you. I'm holding it for you. I'm holding it for you. Here it is. You ready? Here's my number. Two. 02270. Like, get yourself, get yourself on them out. Like, just get it out right now. Okay, okay, you got it out? Okay. Go to the text area 202 270 1662. And you're going to text these words It's possible. And put your name. An email. I'm going to say something really special. But it's possible. Like, okay, right now we're going to pause. Pause. Boom. Get your cell phone number out. Get, get your cell phone out. 
1662. Text the word, it's possible. Text that word right now. It's possible. And put your name and your email in there. Put your name and your email. It's possible. You can achieve it. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the gift is yet. Now, I'm going to wait and give you a few seconds. But open up your cell phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you're at your computer, you're not near your cell phone, you want to email me, you can. Shay Brown at partnerslearning.com. You can email me. Just put, it's possible. And put your name in your email. Put your name in your email. Giving up is not an option. It's possible you can live your dream, whether you think you can or you think you can't. Just know it's what? Possible. And I've held that belief now for over 10 years. Been in business in 2004. We're in our 10th year of business all the time, full time. And that's important to me. All the time, full time, teaching entrepreneurs, business owners, leaders, network marketers, financial planners, coaches, authors, the same thing. It's possible. Text that word to me. Where's my phone? You, got, you guys still got my phone? There, text that to me, and we're going to give you a very, very, very special gift. We're going to give you a very special gift. Now, I'm not going to personally send you the gift, by the way. Uh, Ashley's going to send you the gift. Now, who's, who's going to send you the gift? Ashley. You know? <laughs> Ashley's my assistant. She's probably watching right now. Like, Shay, what are you doing up there? What are you doing? I didn't know I was going to do this. I really didn't. But we got a very special gift, because I want you to know that it's possible that the next 12 months will be your best 12 months ever. You can even go over to the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group if you're not there. Go to Virtual Networking Live and just type the words, it's possible. That's right, it's possible. And we'll give you a very, 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 very special gift. For those that don't believe us, listen to our clients. I'll share a few stories that I go through here. One of our clients is Dwayne Pierce. And Dwayne Pierce was like many of you out there, by the way, many of you out there, very successful entrepreneur. He sat in the front of our training session. This was about three years ago. And he heard me talk about it's possible. Now, he didn't hear me. What he heard was a voice in his head. And a voice in his head was telling him that it's possible. And because that voice was telling him it's possible, he decided to take some action. And he said, I'm going after my dreams. I'm going after what I need to do. You can still text me at 202-270-1662, 202-270-1662. It's possible. I, I see the text is coming in. And he said, you know what? I'm going to take that step, Shay Brown. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to reach out, and I'm going to go after his goal. And his goal at the time was he wanted to earn an extra $5,000 over and beyond what he's earned. Now, he's in insurance. That's, it was a big challenge because he was doing okay. I'm happy to report to you. He came back the very next month. He didn't hit his $5,000. I think he did like $2,000 extra. But three months later, he came back and said he's earned an extra $7,000 over and beyond what he was anticipating on doing because he just believed it was possible and he worked as hard as he possibly could. Now, that wasn't the only reason. I can't take credit for his success. I really can't. But I believe that one of the triggers of the emotions that got him going. One of those triggers was he started believing that it's possible. He started taking the actions that you had to take. And he focused on the activities and not the results. He focused on the activities and not the results. How far are you willing to go for your dreams? Think about that right now. Many of you are texting me because you're still, my phone is still beeping. They just, they just brought me my phone back. They're like, Shay, you're still going? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still up here. And, you know, shout out to to Donna Davis and to Arlene and to Bob Church, well, have, hey Bob and, and Doris Birch and Koya, I'll get to some of these as I can. Some of you put your name, some of you not. Uh, Joanne Meeks is on here as well. JC Richardson, good to connect with you again. Jafita Brown, the number one tax accountant out there doing her thing. I think she's down in Florida. Uh, Dwayne, hey, Dwayne's on here. Barbara Tipton, Tipton, glad to connect with you as well. Grace. Marie Jones, glad to connect with you as well. Demetria, Melissa Lambert, hey, Melissa, hey to all of you. Delmore Johnson, um, Dr. Wright, I mean, all of you are out there right now. Lisa Green, I mean, all of you. Robert George, I mean, all of you right now that believe that it's possible. And as a group, I mean, only those that text 
1662. Only those are texts, it's possible, are going to get the extra free gift. I'm going to erase this in just about one minute. I'm going to erase it. Many of you, I'm not gonna, you know, many of you are texting me, thank you so much, Diane Smith. It's, it's always a pleasure to connect with, with all of you that are out there. This is my, my private cell phone. It's an iPhone. I like an iPhone. Trevor still has the Android, by the way. He's going to switch from that notebook four as soon as iPhone comes out. But I, 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 you know, I don't get paid to com do the commercial for this, but it, it really, really works. Uh, Cheryl Green, I, I got yours as well. OK, we all together, and many of you out there who didn't text me, it's OK. It's not a requirement. But I'm going to believe that you believe that it's possible. I'm going to hold that belief. So let's go ahead and let's move forward. I love the story right here we have up here showing Tyler Perry. Now, it's been a while since I told this story, but think about a, a gentleman who found himself living out the back of his car. He had a dream of movies. You know this story. And think about that. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, a gentleman has a dream. He says he's going to open up a theater. He's going to put on shows, puts all his money up. No one shows. If you ever watch any of the videos, one of my favorite clips, maybe in the future I'll show the video in the future. But he says, you've got to believe in yourself. Now, he's gone on to do some, some amazing things, by the way. I mean, the brother owns not only the studios, the only studios where everything is produced right there in-house. He's done some amazing things. I love the movies. I love the shows. I love the TV show. I mean, here's a gentleman that is undeniable a role model for business owners, for just everyday folks who aren't business owners. But the message I want to, I want to share with you, and here's the question I want you to share. And, you know, you don't have to go living out of your car. Um, you don't have to go put up all your money and hope something works. That's not the message. The message is this. How far will you go for your dreams? How far are you willing to go? Are you willing to go all the way? Are you willing to go all out? Are you willing at least to put the effort? See, sometimes sales just boils down to heart. It just boils down to heart. You have heart and you have effort. And that, one of the things that you know, I'm pretty easy going guy is when folks just don't put forth the effort. It just, it just, it just, it just, it just, it just that's one thing that just gets to me. Now, I'm not saying you're not putting forth effort. Some of you, you put forth everything you can. You have nothing else to give. You've got to improve. And others of you are like, oh, I've got to step it up. I've got to step it up. How far are you willing to go? to actually live your dreams. And when you get that, when you get to that edge, and you get there, then you're ready to go. You're ready to take that next step. You know, I'm, my phone just keeps beeping and beeping and beeping, and some of you are still texting me. Some of you are watching the replay, and you're, you're still texting me, and thank you so much. I, I promise we're gonna, we're gonna get that gift. Ashley is watching right now, and I don't know what, I don't know what the gift is, because I just made it up, but Ashley, we're going to do something special. Uh, that's the gift. That's the promise that we made for all of you out there right now who are sending us the notes that you have right now. Some of you are texting me. It's possible. <laughs> Others are emailing me saying it's possible that you need everything that you possibly can have. So let me, let me go ahead and jot down something number two that I want you to have in your notes. And this is very, very important. Number two. And it comes from M&M. Now, I've got some great content that I'm going to share with you. But I, I want to wanna make sure you're, you're at the right mindset. You're at the right place of where you need to be in order to take where you are to another level. Because for some of you, it's just a matter of changing your mindset. It's a matter of changing your thinking. It's the inner game. It's just a shift. And what I want to do is just shift your mindset right now. I want you to believe that, yes, I can do this, Shay. Yes, it's possible. And yes, I'm going to give it everything I got. And today, in this conversation, I just want you to be focused. I want you to take notes as well as you can. Pay it forward. Again, let's just, for, for fun right now, let's just go out there and you can share this forward. You go up to the top, to the very top of the private group, and you can share that out right now. And once you do that, they will see exactly what's going on. So number two, here's, you can jot down your notes. Success is my only option. Failure is not. And so we're going to focus on success. It's okay to have some, some setbacks. Willie Jolly had opportunity to participate on an event with Willie Jolly just last week. And it was Change the World Summit. And Willie Jolly had this idea that he wanted to change the world, that he wanted to have a message. He wanted to help people out there change their lives. And it was a powerful concept, and we just impacted so many people. 
But one of the areas I walked away from there is that success is my only option. And no matter what, I'm going to do as best I can. But he shares something with me that's kind of helped me over the years. And he has a book. The book is called A Setback is a Setup for a Comeback. I mean, I was like, whoa, that was good. I mean, a setback is a setup for a comeback. So no matter what setbacks you had, it doesn't really matter. You can still what? Come back. That's right. You can still what? Come back. Doesn't matter on what type of setback. And that's what I want you to do. That, that's the frame of the conversation we're about to go into right now. That's the message that we're going down. Success is my only option. Failure is not. Three key systems that we teach. Three key systems. I talked about these earlier. Jot these three key systems down in your notes. If you missed it, you're just tuning in. One, lead generation. Second system is an appointment setting system. And the third system is lead conversion system. So we're going to be focusing on systems as part of this closing mastery playbook. I mean, it's, I mean today, it's, this is some good stuff. This is some, right now, you may already have what you need. You might say, Shay, I'm out. Boom. I'm gone. It's OK. I feel good knowing that you have exactly what you need to be successful. First one is lead generation system. Think about right now, what is your number one lead generation system right now? What is the system that you use to generate leads? And whatever it is, jot that down. And you hold that. Whatever it is, jot that down, and you're going to hold that. Lead generation. That'll be one system that we'll come back and we'll talk about. The second one is your appointment setting system. This is going back to baseline strategy, right? So what is your number one appointment setting system? Now, if you ask me, hey, Shay, what's the best lead generation system? I would say power partners, having POIs. I'll come back to that in a little while. The second area is appointment setting system. What's your number one appointment setting system? All roads in sales lead to where? A sales presentation. All roads in business lead to a sales presentation. That's what they all, everything you do leads to that one point. That's advanced. I probably won't mention that again, so you better hold on to that one. That's, I know we reserve that. That's, that's one of the ones I reserve. I hold to the side. But I would say, don't believe us. Listen to our clients. Let me tell you about Sheikah Mansell. And Sheikah Mansell works with the Tom James Company. I actually have to wearing a Tom James suit right now, by the way. And she has a very difficult job. But we all do. Everybody in sales always tell me, Shay, you don't understand how hard it is. It doesn't matter what you do. I get how hard it is. And so here she is, and her job is to go out there, and she has folks that want to look good, feel good, and she, what, gives them custom clothing, for lack of a better term. Now, she was here. She has this long script that she would tell you about the importance of colors and colors and contrast and moods and feelings and emotions. Sheikah, if you're watching right now, I agree with you. But in the essence of time, I only have so much time today. I wish I had more time with all of you watching. I appreciate you. I would say so much more, but in, in the time I have. So she had a problem. She said, Shay, if I get in front of folks, typically it's the right prospect at the right time who has the right problem, I'm able to move them to action. They take a step and they order a shirt or a blouse or a jacket or whatever it may be. And I asked her, I said, what is your number one appointment setting system? You know what she did? <laughs> she gonna, she gonna kill me if she's watching, stuff like this. Good question, Shay. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And here's, here's, here's a phrase I've been sharing, and you can jot this down in your notes. Put this in your notes, please don't miss this. Put this in your notes right now. That your results in this month will be directly related to the number of appointments you set and you run. I'll come back to that. Your, your results, your revenue results at the end of this month will be in direct proportion to the number of appointments you set and you run. So you got to get laser focused. Got to laser focus on that. Created a breakthrough. She was like in the top five. She went to President's Club. She went on a cruise. I mean, she took her and her husband. They did so much. I mean, and that cruise did wonders for their marriage. She's just so excited, a happily person. But here's what I want you to know. You met Sheikah today. She doesn't see herself as a sales professional. She wasn't wired this way. She wasn't born this way. But she'll tell you that today she's a sales champion as a result of getting laser focused on setting appointments. Now, you probably heard the question, are salespeople born? And I'm going to tell you this. Salespeople are not born. They're made. And I make them every single day. Every single day we make them. Every single day. And that's the benefit of you being here today. The third system is lead conversion system. 
So we convert, as we talked about earlier, those non-buyers into buyers. How do we do that? What are the systems? What are the structures? Well, we got a closing mastery playbook. I'm going to get to that in just a few minutes, and I'm going to walk you through some steps, some phrases, some language patterns, things that you can do inside of your presentation. Can't wait to share that with you. But I would say, don't believe us. L listen to our clients. Listen to Matt Alex Lancaster. It's been a while since I told the story. But he was in telecom. He was in sales. Came out just like many of you sitting out here right now to one of the seminars. Took a step and said, I've got to get better at my closing strategies. Not convincing people, not persuading them, not making them sign a contract. Just at his lead conversion strategies. And so I, I shared some of these strategies with him. Made a huge, huge difference for him. And it can make a huge difference for you. Created a breakthrough in his business. He was able, one, to, to stay in business. He was able to close so many more deals. And went on to be a supervisor a manager, and do so much more in his industry. And it can happen for you. This breakthrough can happen like that by you being present today. Thank you for being present. Thank you for being here. And thank you for tuning in. Let me share with you now, before I get into the good stuff. I've already got some good stuff in here. Sheesh. Like, share how much more? I promise you the best is still yet to come. The best is still yet to come. I promise you the best is what? Still yet to come. So I'm going to share with you 10. How many did I say? 10. How many did I say? I'm going to put up on the board, just so you know. 10. Didn't say some of the ways, it said 10 best. These are the 10 best. <coughs> practices of top performing salespeople. Now, who are top performing salespeople? These are people in the top 1% of sales. Now, I've been st studying sales professionals for almost 10 years now. I do nothing but sleep, breathe, and eat sales. And I noticed that they had habits. And I looked at what are the habits they are using to make them successful. These weren't the brightest. They weren't the smartest. They weren't the best communicators. They were none of those things. But they were able to effectively communicate their message. They were able to move people to action. Jot this down in your notes. This is a $50,000 idea between now and the end of your selling career. If you get just this one idea, I believe you're going to earn an extra $50,000 over and beyond what you would have earned without it. Just without an extra $50,000. And here it is. Jot this down in your notes. This is important. People form habits and habits form futures. Jot it down in your notes. People form habits and habits form futures. So think about right now, what are your 10 predominant habits that you're using right now in your business? People form habits, and habits form what? Futures. So now let's go into the 10 best practices of top sales professionals. You're really glad you're here today. You don't have to spend hours and hours and hours going and getting this. You don't have to read 100 books, nor do you have to spend, you know, $15,000. I mean, if you'd ask me today, Shay, in your heart of hearts, what's the value of today's training session? I would tell you, it's $15,000 plus dollars. The value of it. You might say, well, why am I able to watch it? Because we're allowing you to participate. Some of you are special VIPs. Some of you are in the marathon access. There's so many different ones of you out there right now. But the total value of this is $15,000 and above. And there's a saying in our industry, right? Saying in our industry that when you pay, you what? You participate. And if, when you pay a lot, you pay a lot of attention. When you pay a little bit, you pay a little bit of attention. I don't think that's the case. I think for some of you, you could have easily stroked a check for $15,000. You would have paid, and you would still paid very little attention to what's going on. I've seen that happen. I've showed up. Paid three, $5,000. I'm sitting there on a day seminar. People are like, do, 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 totally distracted. And I've been in other places where it's been, they didn't pay 5000 they paid a dollar. You know what? They're, they're just, as, just as tuned in. So you, you want to tune in right now. Like This is one of those $15,000, $25,000 training session days. Now, again, when you pay, you pay attention, especially when you pay a lot, but not always. You're going to pay attention right now. As I give you the 10 best practices of top-performing salespeople, Let's walk through those together. Let's take notes together, and then let's make a decision that together we're going to implement these ideas on our very next 
presentation. We don't have to wait. All roads and, biz all roads and business lead to where? The sales presentation. That's what that's all, all effort is geared toward that one area. Okay. I'll say don't believe us. Listen to who? Our clients. Let me tell you about Stephanie Cohen of the Cohen Group up in Gaithersburg, Maryland. They do about $17 million in sales. And during a very challenging time, they said, Che, we've got to keep our salespeople inspired and motivated. So I'm not in the inspiring and motivating business. You would hire someone else to do that. This is not the business I'm in. I'm in the business of teaching skills that they implement that will immediately change their lives and the company's profitability. That's what it is. We're a skill-building company. So I said, okay, what are the skills? I'm going to share with you these skills that I shared. Made a huge, huge difference for Stephanie. Shout out to Stephanie. I met at the D.C. Chamber. Why? Because I showed up, she showed up on a snowy night. <laughs> They're like, who else is in the room? About 10 of us in the room, like we're 10 nuts that showed up to be there that night. But that was one of the top connections that I made, and I made a huge difference in her business, and she gave me a check, so I'm very, very pleased. We worked together for over three years. It made a huge, huge difference. So let me, let me, let me go and share these 10 strategies that helped her team and many of our clients teach over probably 100,000 plus folks by now these techniques. So let's go through them very quickly. Number one, you're not going to be blown away, but if you do it, it's going to help you. Number one, jot this down your notes. They set high targets and goals. Top performers don't wait for their manager. They set their own goals. Think about this. Have you set your goals for these 30 days? So number one, set goals. Don't wait for someone to call you and say, here's our goals, here's what we're going to get to. That's not what you want to do. You want, you, want, you want to be able to get that and make sure that that is there. That's what you want to make sure you do. So they set high targets and goals. That's very, very, very important. Number two, and I don't have a number up here, so I, I just don't have the number, but I'm going to follow along because I have my numbers here, and I'll make sure that they put that up there as we go. Number two, they carefully plan their quarter, month, and week, as well as their schedule. In short, what are they doing? They're looking at the big picture. They're looking at the big picture. Jot that down your notes. They're looking at the big picture. Looking at the big picture. So they carefully plan their quarter, their month, and week, as well as their daily schedule. Think about that right now. Looking at your week coming up, how many appointments do you have scheduled this week? How much time have you blocked for lead generation? That's called schedule block time, where you block time on your calendar and you're ready to implement. Think about that for a moment. These, this, now, this isn't the best of best ideas, but this is, this is number two. You're not going to be blown away like, whoa, Shay, that's so incredible. Jot this down in your notes. Matter of fact, put this into the private group. You, you just, I'm going to race this one. I'm going to race the board. You got to tune in. Hello, hello. That's me. Tune in. Okay, here we go. Got this in your notes. Are you ready? Ready? Say I'm ready. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Ready? Okay. Here, here we go. Put this in your notes. Put an asterisk. There's the asterisk. That means an asterisk looks like this, by the way. Dun 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 dun. Now, right next to the asterisk, write down money idea. Okay. Money idea. And here it is. Never underestimate the power of the basics. Just put that in your notes. Never underestimate the power of the basics. I'm sharing some basic fundamental things right now, at least during this part. We'll get into some advanced stuff. You do this right here. This is extra. Some of you $15,000, some of you $20,000 a month, over and beyond what you're already earning by just implementing the fundamentals. So what I want you to put down, never underestimate the power of the basics. Matter of fact, Jot that into the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. Jot it in the chat right now. Just put it, just go ahead and just toss it out there right now. Never underestimate the power of the basics. I'm going to get into some advanced stuff. I'm going to what the 10 top performers do. 10 best practices of top performers. I mentioned this earlier. You weren't blown away. People form habits, and habits form futures. People form habits, and habits form futures. You show me a sales professional's five predominant habits, and I almost predict their future. Like just, just that habit. Forget if they're going to have some highs and some lows and some highs. I'm talking about a habit. That's what they do consistently. Okay. Number three. I'm keeping notes to myself, by the way, because I don't know what number we're on. That's okay. If you get a bonus, that's great. I know you're all watching. You're watching. If I forget one, say, Shay, you forgot one. Number three. 
They set objectives for every sales call. So they go into the presentation, in some cases, knowing exactly what product they're going to steer the prospect towards. Now, I get it that some of you, you don't have that flexibility. Others of you, you do. When you show up, you have a shelf of products you could offer. What I'm going to suggest is you want to have clarity when you go into the presentation. So the very beginning when I got started, the one presentation that I knew I was going into was the Silver Partner Program, or now known as the Sales Superstar Academy. And I walked into that presentation knowing that this is the direction I was going. And Tony Robbins says, if you put two people in the room, the one with the most clarity typically will be able to persuade the other person, right? So I knew what I was going into, although I had many other products I was offering. And some of you, before you go in, your only objective is to make sure they feel good, find out what they want, and then try to push them towards one particular area. Others of you, you already have a product. Your company mandates that you do this. If that's you, you tune me out. But if you have, if you have options, before you go in, you do two things. Number one, you get clear on the product you're going to offer. And number two, you write down on a piece of paper the three benefits of that product. You write down the three top benefits of that product. And now you have clarity. And why is that? Jot this in your notes. People buy clarity. Put that, put that in your notes. Put that in your notes. Right. This is why you got to go in there knowing exactly which way you're going. I'm going to put it up here on the board. People buy clarity. Said differently, people buy clarity. Said differently, a confused mind rarely buys. That's a little advanced for some of you, so but you can handle it. A confused mind rarely buys. So we want to make sure we have clarity. We want to make sure we, we tell them exactly what's going to happen, why it's going to happen, and what needs to happen when you're there. Now, Shay, how does that relate to this? You set your objectives before, you, before every call, before every call. People buy clarity. You want to be clear and concise. OK, number four, they ask high value questions that probe to the heart of the issue. So you want to get really clear on what are the questions? What are the questions that you're asking? And this is, this is what the top 10 best performing people do. This is what they do. Um, do I do it every single time? Absolutely not. If I do it most of the time, absolutely yes. I do it most of the time. They ask high value questions prior to going in to the presentation. Number six. Keep me honest if that's great. Number six. Now you can share these, by the way, in the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. You can go out there right now and you can just type in number. What number are we on? Somebody tell me to go look and see. What number are we on? 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 Number are we on? I have no idea. But you guys will tell me, someone said they missed the first practice. Hey, you got to pay attention. We're on number four. I believe we're on number four. If we're not, you guys will tell me what number we're on. Let's see. What number are we on? Okay. Number one, they set high targets. Number two, they plan their day. Number three, they set objectives. Number four, they ask high value questions. So really, we're on number five. Jot this down in your notes. It's important. You don't want to miss it. You'll be reading your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. I won't be there. Shay Brown won't be there. But a piece of me will be with you because you have the notes. And a piece of you will be with me because I have the stories from this particular training session. That's what we're giving. We're giving a training session. Number four is they listen carefully to what their prospects say. They listen carefully. Now, then, you know, you've heard this before. You want to be talking 20% of the time and listen 80% of the time. I don't care about all that. I don't care if you talk all the time. What I want you to do is listen to what they say so you can respond. You're going to be listening. And we talked about earlier, you got to ask right questions. Questions steer focus. Now you're listening on a presentation. These are best practices. So before you show up on a presentation, you don't have to be thinking, oh, let me listen to my favorite song. Let me sing along. Let me watch my favorite video. No, that's not what you do. You say, you know what? Top 1% of the folks, this is what they do. Shay gave them to me. I ain't have to go read some book. I ain't have to look around. I have to go to some long day seminar. You just gave it to me. Raw, straight, easy. You even write this down. So you're going to be listening intently to the conversation as they're going along. I'm looking there instead of here. Their sales presentations focus on the prospect. So number six. What is number six? Their sales presentation 
They focus on the prospect. Sales presentation, they what? They focus on the prospect, not on themselves. So you're gonna be laser focused on the prospect, what they're thinking, and being part of that particular conversation. Next step, we're just walking step by step, by step, by step, and looking at, you know, oops, I think I walked to the camera. What are the five ways? They are prepared for potential objections. And we know objections are nothing more than questions in disguise. Top performers anticipate objections and plan their response. And so when you get to your presentation, you know there'll be some objections. It's, it's, a, it's a natural part of the selling process. In fact, jot this down in your notes. You're taking so many good notes. Some of you are really, really good students. And you know, sometimes folks will take notes during these presentations. And then they'll email me their notes as a way of just me being an accountability partner. And if that's something that you want me to be your accountability partner today, something you want me to ask questions on, this is what I'm going to do. Got, yeah, you had my email earlier. You're, you're taking notes. You're participating. You're there. We talked about the gift you can get earlier for just saying it's what possible. And so many of you text me in and email me, and I have those. But some of you are taking notes. You're really good students. It's what you do. Others, you don't have to take notes because you're auditory listening. I mean, you just got to listen. You hear it. You got it. That's not me, by the way. That's not me. I've got to got to write it down, and I've got to see it. But if you want to email me your notes or a comment or two, do that. Let me give you my email address. It's a way for you and I to stay in this conversation. It's very personal, so it's just you and me. It's going to go to my email, so you don't have to worry about anybody looking at it or seeing it. Just, just you and I. And we'll have a private conversation. Email me. Let me give me give my email. It's not for everybody, because all of you are not going to do it. But you can. And it's not required. So let me give you my email. My email is shaybrown at partnerslearning.com. You probably have that by now. Shea Brown, C-H-E-B-R-O-W-N, at partners, P-A-R-T-N-E-R-S, learning.com. Shea Brown at partnerslearning.com. And this subject line is put my note, Shea, from today. I don't care if you just took one note. If you want to put an asterisk and ask me a question, I promise to you that I'm going to answer your question. That's my promise. And if I don't do it personally, we'll have someone from the team that will respond back to you. But ask your toughest question. Just, 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 it'll be very private between you and I. Now, some of you might be putting it into the private, elusive, exclusive Facebook group. I'll be going back through there. Some of you are putting it into the chat feature right now. I'm going to go back and review that as well. Another thing, you're like, Shay, I want to communicate directly with you. This is just a one-to-one -one conversation. I don't know of another person at my level on the planet that was going to say, hey, just email me and I'm going to answer it. Not at my level. I just don't. I just don't. So here's my email, shaybrown at partnerslearning.com. Share your notes with me if you would, please, and share one question that you may have. You want to share two, that's fine. You want to share three, that's fine as well. OK, you're going to anticipate objections. Here's something I want you to have in your notes. Put this in your notes, because some of you are going to be sending them to me. Some of you can just stop where you are right now, like, Arr! and you can send it to me right now. You may take notes a little later. That's fine. You don't have to wait to the end of this presentation. Any point in time, you want to send two or three? Version, just go right ahead. Let's, let's stay in the conversation together. But here's what I want you to have in your notes. This is important. Don't become concerned when a natural part of the sales process happens. Don't become concerned when a natural part of the sales process takes place. A natural part of the sales process, they're going to have objections. There's a natural part of the sales process, so we're going to be ready for that. Number seven, I believe. I think it's number seven. I don't know if it is or not. They always establish new ste next steps. So the next step is, the next step, we're going to set up another meeting. The next step is we're going to get back to you with a proposal. The next step is I'm going to do my research and answer your question. The next step is I need to get your credit card. The next step is to have you review the contract. The next step is for you to return the contract to me. They're always talking about next steps. Now, I'm giving you the best practices of top performing sales for what they do every single day. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to wonder about it. You don't have to go watch some YouTube video and hope you can find it out. I'm giving it to you. The best of the best ideas I know right now. Number eight, follow up. You cannot rely on your prospects to call you. You need to take the initiative yourself. What is your number one follow up system? Said differently, how do you follow up? If I was sitting next to you this afternoon and I said, who are the top five people you have to follow up with? Now, you probably know the top five because that's just what people do. They're like, okay, opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. I think they're going to want something. But 
Maybe you don't know who the next 10 are or the next 20 are. And so in your follow-up process, it's really chaotic. And I'm going to tell you, if you're doing that, you heard it before, and it's so true. The fortune is in the follow-up. I'm going I'm to put that on here, and I want you to put this in your notes, too. Fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. So you want to get laser focused and know who you need to follow up with, why you need to follow up with them, and you want to have them in a systematic way. Don't have a stack of cards in one place. That's not what you want to do. Don't, don't do that. Don't have it stuck somewhere else. But we know that the fortune is in the follow-up. Number 10, pretty sure it's number 10, the pros they prospect continually to keep their pipeline full. Think about what imagine. One of the ways to avoid highs and lows is to schedule time to prospect every single day. We call it scheduled block time. Scheduled block time. It's one of the number one ideas that I'll share. You are, we're sitting in a one-on-one -on -one session right now. And perhaps you're thinking, you know, Shay, I just saw the top 10 ways that folks are performing. And I would like to get a, an opportunity just to sit down with you and for you to take a look at my sales process. And I'm going to share some of the ideas right now. You're like, I, you know what? I can use a little insight. I can use a little input on having it customized specifically for me. I'm going to have a way for you to do that. I'm going to do that in just a moment, a way for you to do that, where you can do that as well. And how would you do that? Well, one of the ways you're going to be able to do that is you're going to have an opportunity to email or text me. You're going to have an opportunity to text me. And when you text me, what, what I'm going to do is give you my cell phone number. And let me have write that on the board. 15 minutes, that's a long break. Okay, so one of the things you're gonna do is I'm gonna do this here. And I'm gonna give you my cell number. Now, this is for those that are watching right now, and you can text me. And when you text me, we're gonna schedule you a 20 minute one on one private session for us to customize the techniques specifically for your business. You have opportunity to work with me or one of my lead trainers. That's my prompt. Then you got to text me today. We're going to waive the fee. There's no, there's no charge to do this. There's no obligation to do it. But if you're watching right now, you're like, you know what, Jay? I know you're going to get some more stuff on closing Master Playbook. And I am. I'm going to share with you techniques that you can use to close. I'm going to get to that. But you're like, just where I'm at right now, Shay, my baseline is not really where I need it to be. I need some techniques, I need some tools, I need some secrets. I need to really take this thing to an entirely different level because I now have the one distinction that you never taught, <laughs> not publicly anyway, is that all roads in business lead to the sales presentation. We're going to have a way for you to do that today. You can text me. Matter of fact, go ahead and get your cell phone numbers out right now. Some of you have already done this already. You can do it again. It's okay. You're going to still get the free gift. It's possible. You're going to get that. I'm not sending that to you. Remember, I didn't say that. Ashley's going to send it to you. She don't even know what it is, because I don't know what it is yet. But we'll, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but it's 202. In fact, just get your cell phone numbers out right now. I mean, there's no reason why every single one of you out there wouldn't want to do this. And we're going to schedule a time that works for you. 202-270-1662. 202-270-1662. And you're going to text. Just put coaching session. So you're going to put coaching session. Put coaching session. And you've got to follow the instructions. You've got to move at the speed of instruction. That means you move right now. Like you open your cell phones up, and you're going to text your name, I'm requiring this, and your email. Now, what's the number one reason that you're going to walk away? You would want to do this? Well, it's going to be the highlight of your day. That's number one. <laughs> Number two, you're going to walk away with a customized idea that you can use immediately, instantly in your business in order to make more sales with less effort, to close more deals. And number three, we're going to customize the idea specifically for you. We'll share a system. We'll share a structure. We're going to share exactly what someone else is doing. Not, these aren't ideas that we thought about. 
Um, this is not an idea which came out from some seminar and decided to share with you. Didn't just watch a YouTube clip and say, maybe I should talk about this. This is what we're doing every single day for folks that are just like you over the last 10 years. We're in the field, our sleeves are rolled up. These ideas they work with or without us, they work. And we're going to release those to you. And why are we going to reward you? Because you're here. You showed up. So what do you need to do? What's the one action? Take out your cell phone. Type in 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Text the word coaching session. Text the word what? Coaching session. Put your name and email. Put your name and email. I feel you all text it right now. Put your Text coaching session with your name and email. Now, you're going to have a 20-minute private session, um, an opportunity to bring your tough sales challenge to the call, an opportunity for us to customize it for you, and this will be the breakthrough that you need. This will be the shift that you need in your business. And num the number one, number one reason I'm willing to do it is because you showed up, because you're here. I'll share a few thoughts, and then we'll take a, a quick five-minute break. 10-minute break. They give, they give me the cue. Yeah, I don't take no break. I'm like, I don't take no breaks. I mean, they want to take a break. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause. But I'm going to give you just a, a couple of quick things to share with you. And then we're going to take a five-minute break and make sure we got everything queued up. OK, just, just saying a 10-minute break. I don't, I, what, what's all this 10-minute break stuff? I mean, I, I don't get it. But we're going to stop for 10 minutes. That don't mean you go anywhere, by the way. That don't mean you just do it anywhere. That means we got to do something. But I'll be back. Don't just, just, just stay tuned. Well, we haven't, we haven't got there yet. But when we get there, I've had all people giving me instructions. I'm like, no, do this, do that. Opportunity with you, you and I, just you and me. OK, so let me tell you about Doug. Let me tell you about Doug. Because I always say, don't believe us, listen to our clients. And Doug himself had been to a lot of training sessions, just like many of you. But he had a fundamental problem. His business wasn't on pace at the, where he thought it should be, increasing revenue, bringing on the type of clients at the level that he wanted to do it. So he drove two hours to one of our seminars, just like today, he, he was here. And he took a step, and he realized that if he wasn't implementing the one technique that showed at the end, that means having scheduled block time. It wasn't even top of mind to him at all. Now, here's a guy who taken a lot of training sessions, spent a lot of money. He said, Shay, that's a simple idea. I said, well, you know, as my grandma used to say, it's easy to do, and it's easy not to do. So it's easy to do, and it's easy not to do. Easier it is to do it, the more likely they are not to do it, by the way, just not to do it. Took a step, schedule block time. Saw him the next month, not next year, not the next month he was right back and shared with us as a result of taking that one shift, that one shift, he had added over 100 different new prospects to his database, and more importantly, he had closed like five deals. Now, again, I can't take credit for it. We cannot take credit for it. They've got to go do the work. You've got to go do the work. But oftentimes, this is the catalyst. This is all you need to kind of get going and get moving. So what's the storyline? Oxygen thoughts. Now maybe you've seen the movie Apollo 13, and they had problems when they were in space. And the main problem is they was running out of air, right? And think about it right now. You're on Apollo 13, you're in space somewhere, you're floating around, and they tell you there's a problem. You're trying to fix the problem, and they say, look, there's just not enough oxygen. And when there's not enough oxygen coming in, then you would be as focused as you possibly can. It's like I want you to be when we come back from break as focused as you possibly can. You'd be laser focused and because you run out of air. But what's the true message? What do you walk away from here? What can you do from here? Jot this down in your notes. Everything counts. Put down in your notes. Everything counts. So every time you hear this type of message, it counts. Every time you make a shift in your selling skills, it counts. The one skill that will help fuel your purpose and your passion is truly being able to be a more effective communicator, help more people, close more deals, and make more sales. So you'd be laser focused, so everything counts. So we come back, I want you to imagine, you know what? There's only so much time they're gonna be here. And I've gotta have oxygen thoughts. I've gotta be focused. There's only so much time and it's running out. I've gotta be present with them. This is why we rehearse, to reach perfection. I'm one of the greatest of all time, none other than yours truly, Michael Jackson up there. If you ever watched that video they did at the very end, the drummer's playing the beats. And he plays just a slightly different tune than what's on the album. Just a slightly different tune, just slightly. 
Michael's rehearsing, he stops. They go silent. Looks over at the drummer and says, you're slightly off beat. He says, no, 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 I added something just, no, they play it exactly like it is in the track. Exact, no change, not one note. And then he made these comments. So Michael Jackson, he made the comments, says, this is why we rehearse. He didn't, he didn't get upset, he didn't yell at the guys. This is why we rehearse, to reach perfection. And that's why you're here today, to reach perfection. You may not get there overnight, but every day you work, you get a little bit better because you will be prepared. I realize this is a Girl Scout model as well, but it's also the Boy Scout model, but it's the Girl Scout model. The Girl Scout model since 1907 is to be prepared. That's what this whole business acceleration is about. It's about getting you ready so you can be prepared. Serena Williams says it best up here. She says it best, very best. She says, success, I mean, luck has nothing to do with me being successful because I've spent many hours, countless hours, on the court working for it. But just this one moment, knowing that when it happened, they'd be able to take advantage of it. And that's you right now. You're here. You're tuned in. We're going to share some of our best strategies on closing mastery. Trevor's going to share his best strategies and ideas, things you can use on neural linguistic presentations. Why? Because that one moment, that one opportunity, when you have it, you can step right into it. Everything is top of mind to you. It's the second nature. You don't even think about it. You're doing it at an unconscious level. And when we get back, we'll talk about the thought factory. So with that being said, I'm going to go up here. Now, for those that are texting me, it's 202-270-1662. That's for those that want a private, intimate coaching session that can be customized specifically for your industry, for your business, and more importantly, for you. You're going to text coaching session, and you're going to put your name and your email. Your name and your email, that's what I'm requiring. 